if this show wants to get an eight or above in my book, it needs to follow these steps. Okay. Blue guy <laughs> definitely doesn't win. Black turtle ends up winning the tournament. And the moment he's hoisting up whatever you get as a prize, he's hoisting up in the air, the sun's shining. Everyone's shocked. Like, Oh my gosh, he actually won it. We can't believe it. And then you see a spear go straight through his heart and it's rock. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah, but I told you not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, starts like eating his liver <laughs> and then it just it just flashes black and it goes the end tower of god uh, i like my prediction better but I like right, right. better podcast week four of the spring 2020 season on this show we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week i'm your host david and joining me today we have stren hello everyone next up we have ku oh hello there next up we have brian hello next we have peter girl next we have taylor hello and finally we have sasha kawaii <laughs> Dude, David, first, like, Peter hasn't been here forever, and that's the that's the introduction you give him. Yeah, I'm just up. going in order, that man. Okay, fair enough. Okay, no, it's kind of messed up. People don't know Bro. me. It's fine. He's, he's that guy in the photo. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, um, we're just going to do some quick news right now. I should also mention that we uh, recorded last week, but because I fucked up, it's not there. So this will be a combination of week two, or week three and four. Um, so just going uh, quick right now on the news real quick. For some reason, we have a One Punch Man live action being produced by Hollywood. Not that anyone does really care. So Nothing will go wrong. It's perfect. So just be like DV's Dragon Ball Evolution all over again. No, no dude. <laughs> please don't. That... As long as they have a bald Ashton Kutcher, I'm cool with it. <laughs> why, why, him? why him? He's the only man who could play <laughs> Saitama. Saitama. Yep. Hey, but but so the Sonic live action didn't give you guys faith. I didn't watch nope. it. So I have I not watched it either. I saw all the spoilers already, so that, that was fun. Spoiling Sonic movie, lol. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's like you can you, know, you didn't know anyway. I mean, you just just know that the story of you know Sonic Adventures two and yeah, you, you know not not Adventures, but the original Sonic the Hedgehog two. Anyway, and then um we have a couple of series endings. So we got Devil's a Part Timer and Overlord. They're on their final uh, light novel volume. So they're gonna be joining um, Konosuba and yeah, they're gonna be joining Konosuba and ending. So a lot of these older like I guess Isekai series are ending soon. And then um, last week we just basically talked about all the shows that are late. So we got Digimon Adventures delayed, Shogeki is delayed, Black Clover, Boruto, and One Piece are all delayed. And those are, like the main ones we watch. And then a bunch of other shows delayed. So. I don't know, like what other shows are not gonna be delayed. So we'll see. Oh, and also, it's a very empty season. oh yeah, basically like any show that hasn't aired yet, you can expect to be delayed. And then they already announced that Promise Neverland got pushed back from fall to winter 2021. So, excuse me. Yep. <laughs> oh, and also apparently, um, Demon Slayer the climax chapters have come out May 11th. I don't know if that's like the actual ending or just kind of like the end of the, of like. Or one of the... for you ruiners. It's for you ruiners. Yeah. Ruiners. So. Ruiners. My body is ready. So I'm. I'm just gonna assume it's like the last chapter, or I or one of the last chapters. But that's what they announced. And yes, uh, Johan Evangelion 3.1 is also delayed. Yep. It got delayed. The first. Uh, the mm-hmm. first three Evangelion movies are free on YouTube, though. So you can watch that. Also, you can watch Sailor Moon on YouTube. We can watch everything on YouTube. Come on now, let's be real. This is a nice message to Johan. Estamos muy triste para usted. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Dude, but don't you remember, like back in the day on YouTube, where you had to watch to watch an anime episode, you had to watch it like in four parts. Four, yeah, because that's Good when they had nah, that, nah, that's bro. when they had like, four the, parts, but yeah, four, that's when they, that's when they had the ten minute limit. Yeah. But now it's like, it's I mean, yeah. I forgot uh, about the ten minute limit. Yeah, I missed those. Times. The good old days of 2008. Terrible. Those times. 
No. I don't at all. No, it was awful. I hated I hated uh, binging Bleach and that sh- stuff. <laughs> That's why you call it anime sites, Stray, not YouTube. I was a I was a noob at that back in the day, David. I didn't know how to work computers or the internet. <laughs> Says the IT guy. Hey man, yeah. this was this was forever ago. <laughs> sure, this is like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then so that's gonna be basically it for news, and then we're gonna jump right ahead to One Piece. Get Peter in here, making his debut after all these years being on hiatus. So we're just yeah. gonna pass off to Peter and Sasha. Just give us, uh, just your thoughts on the current Wano arc that's currently delayed right now. All right, guys. Well, let's get started here. Peter, he's an avid fan. He's an even bigger fan than I am at One Piece. In fact, you could say he has the bigger piece for One Piece. <laughs> Anyways, Peter, you know, we've missed you. We, we've cried for you. We're just wondering, what were your thoughts? There's, there was a huge controversy when Kaido fought Luffy in the anime. Mm-hmm. And then in the manga, apparently it was like a one-hit wonder, boom, Luffy was done. But in the anime, it was like this epic battle over the span of an episode and a half. What were your thoughts? Very mixed reactions we heard from the One Piece community. Tell us, Peter. Mixed reactions. Um, Well, I mean, that's kind of expected. One Piece, all their fights are super delayed, right? Or not super delayed, but super drawn out. So it's kind of something I'm used to. Um, It was a nice break, I guess, because before that, the one arc was a lot of setup and a lot of build up to like what's to come, right? Kaido versus Luffy. So then now you get to see a mix of uh, a little break of what is to come, right? Because you, we all know Luffy is not going to be able to beat Kaido. So essentially they're just setting it up. So I I didn't think it was that bad. I thought the fight was pretty epic. So I enjoyed it. Nice. I am I, I on just, your side oh, as well. I just Go remember ahead, like uh, when Sasha talked about this uh, last week that he, he said like the, like the, the whole thing was just like the manga made it seem like it was like the wall was much bigger than the anime made it, where it's just like Luffy just stood no chance, but the anime made it look like he actually had a shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, the anime made it look like he had a shot, but honestly, that's like, <laughs> like Luffy hasn't done anything. He couldn't even beat Big Mama, and apparently um, he's going to go fight Kaido. So that's like, I mean, it's pretty obvious what the outcome is going to be. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. He he didn't show anything new either. Like, and then we the biggest, I guess, the biggest like surprise was just if people didn't know, but uh, Kaido was just the giant dragon. But I guess that was fun. But yeah, hmm. I'm still excited to, or I'm I'm looking more forward to seeing who's gonna beat Big Mama because um, she just reappeared right on the well. Speaking of that, she has reappeared and she has lost her memory. What are your thoughts on yes. that? Yes, so that that's really weird. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not fully caught up, but apparently from what it looks like is going to happen is she's going to somehow join Luffy's team. Am I, is that a good speculation or what do you think is going to happen? Uh, I haven't watched the most recent, recent episode, but what has happened so far is Chopper saw her on the beach and mm-hmm. was like, oh, no, no. And then I forgot the girl's name. You know, the one with the cheek power? Oh. Uh... Toma, I think? Yes. Maybe? Okay. So they started talking to Big Mom, and she's like, oh, where am I? I'm hungry. Yeah. And now that's... they're in- engaging her, but that's really as far as it's gone. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really see too much happening there. But I don't know. They could take it one of two ways, right? They could have Big Mama join Luffy. They team up, beat Kaido, right? Or mm-hmm. somehow down the line, she regains her memory and then Luffy has to fight Big Mama before hitting up Kaido. So, I don't know. I, I, I think Big Mama joining Luffy just to take down Kaido seems like a cop-out. <laughs> I mean... Yep, I would agree. Uh, I mean, it's like, this is Luffy's adventure, right? He, he's supposed to beat all the big names, right? It's not... Yeah, it would feel anti-One Piece with the way everything's been set up. Yeah. So let me segue here, because I didn't mention this at all last time, but I really enjoyed it. What did you think of... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you saw it, actually, but Sanji used the Gemma mm-hmm. yep. 66 suit <laughs> to fight against... What was that guy's name? Raptor or something? Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> I, just, I just love how Sonny just couldn't come up with a good name and <laughs> everyone was just like trash talking him for his name. What was what was he calling his, himself like? Oh man, I, I completely forgot, but <laughs> it was something really obvious. Yeah, it was just so It was stupid. like the Soba Noodle King guy or something. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that was the, the best. I mean, I was expecting, I was hoping for more from Sanji. I mean, just because... I mean, it's a badass suit and whatnot, and he's supposed to gain all this superpower, but uh, the fight itself was kind of a letdown. Like, he really didn't do much, right? All he did was, like, yeah. turn invisible, and then, <laughs> like... I feel like he should be able to handily beat that guy. I have no idea what that guy's yeah. power level, quote-unquote, is, but I, I think they did it more to show the suit's different powers, and you know how anime does that. Like, oh, look at these random powers he has that aren't really that useful until... He faces someone much <laughs> stronger than him, and then it's like, oh man, he made this ultimate combo move that we didn't see before. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's just gonna leave like more comedic uh, scenarios for Sanji because you know he turns invisible, so then he's gonna like try to like, I don't know, <laughs> spy on <laughs> yeah. girls. That's what I feel like you do. Yeah, huge, uh, yeah, pervert, and just like spy on Nami or Robin. So I don't know. It. Speaking of which, what about? Yeah. Robin and her story arc where she is serving the quote unquote I forgot his name. I keep forgetting everything about the show. Um what's his <laughs> name? It's like show show something. The show, 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 show the Shogun show one, guy. Um the main the main guy after Kaido. All right. Yeah, yeah. The guy who turns like the eight headed snake or whatever he is. Yeah. Um how do you feel about that little story arc? Uh, and by little I mean big. I don't know. It it was I was hoping for more because she met all the the ninjas, right? The, mm -hmm. it, the twelve ninjas of yeah that protect him. Yeah, so I was hoping there'd be more with that, but then it kind of just like trailed off, and then they're trying to hit up so many other side stories like Nami and the the one ninja girl, and then um, what was it the fuck <laughs> the the ghost guy? Oh, uh, Brooke. Brooke, yeah, like he he yep. he found a, a polygon, and then all of a sudden, like that didn't lead anywhere. It was like. They didn't mention anything more than that, right? Like, no, because he got sidetracked because he's supposed to protect Nami, and then yeah, yep. or so, not Nami, Robin. Yeah, so I'm curious if that was filler or not. I'm not sure because I've heard and read that the episodes have been extended with filler scenes here and there, but I'm not sure which is canon, which is not. To be honest with you, yeah, that's so I haven't kept up. Here. So it, it's, but I would assume anything that deals with the polygraphs shouldn't fillers right because it has right. to tie into the main story it's like it's a huge one piece like that's how you find one piece is using all these polyglyphs but it's yeah i don't know it's there's there's too much going on right now to be honest that's why the the fight scenes are a nice break from everything yeah well honestly it's like every one piece arc where there's four different things going on at the same time and then slowly <laughs> but surely like every piece does, starts to settle in or settle down yeah, that's true. i remember the only arc where i didn't like I couldn't stand that was the arc where they actually meet Brooke for the first time. I forgot what it was called. And yeah, they're on the ghost ship. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I remember feeling like, wow, this is dragging on for way too long. And then finally it got good when Luffy turned into a blue Luffy. Remember that? Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. But yeah, typically he does a good job. Like I thought Impel Down did a good job of doing mm -hmm. that. Um Dress Rosa, as long as it was, it still did a good job of, you know, intertwining all the storylines, like with the sa blind samurai guy and then the tournament, Sabo's comeback, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I'm just I, waiting for that payoff. I only watched it for the fourth gear because I knew it was coming. <laughs> That's messed up. So let me ask yep. you, because the anime has been suspended, are you going to be reading the manga full steam then? I don't know, because the manga is not that far ahead. So it's like... I don't know if anything big is going to happen now. Like, I, I feel like it would take like another year of just having the manga being published for something big to happen. Yeah, so, potentially. Yeah. Do you guys know, anybody can chime in here, is the manga suspended as well then? I it think, was like for a week. Okay, um, I'll I, say, I, I, for sure, I, think, I don't know about it more than that. I think manga, I think they can work from home. Yeah, manga okay. mangas aren't usually. Whereas uh, anime, um, it's the voice acting that they can't mm -hmm. do from, most of them can't do from home. I would Got assume it. that the the manga was probably just delayed for like a week for a lot of stuff, a lot of people just because they had to just change how they do things. Probably just to give them some time. Japan, law. yeah, yeah. 
I know. That makes sense. Um, uh, yeah. A question. Has, uh, does Luffy still have a sword, and has he used it yet? Luffy? No, he. I think he, his sword got taken away when he got uh, captured. Did he get it taken before he used it? He used it to literally hit people, like... <laughs> as like, yeah, Peter, right, he did not use it during the Kaido fight, right? I don't remember that at all. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Like he literally, all he's done with it is literally <laughs> used it unsheathed, like to hit people, <laughs> like a regular bat. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, that's Luffy for you. Yep. Maybe, uh, maybe Zoro will teach him one day whenever he gets no. the sword back. No, I feel like Zoro is probably going to take the sword and then. Oh, that much power up for him. I feel like Zoro's gonna fight the other Kyoshiro. You know the guy who killed, and I say killed with air quotations, uh, Komurasaki, the main geisha lady. Like he was like, I'm gonna kill her, and then she's like, I'm dead. He just he just has that look, like he's gonna be fighting Zoro. Like that's the planned battle, in my opinion. Yeah. Any any remaining thoughts, sir, on the Wano arc overall on the anime versus the manga? Anything of that nature? Uh no, not really. I mean I'm I'm guessing it's probably gonna take at least a year for the manga to even like get close to wrapping up the Wano arc. And then from there it's gonna be like another year just for the anime to I don't know, it, it's gonna it's gonna be a while. <laughs> hmm. So if you were to uh, give it a percentage to the finish line, what would you say? How close are we? For the Wano arc? No, no, no. For the overall story. Because I think Ichiro Oda came no, out. I don't think they're ever going to end it. Do you have another 20 years? Well, they actually, well, they yeah, actually I said... I was, was going to ask you if... Because uh, I think... I don't know if... I think it was the creator or the writer. He, he said like, you yeah. can see the end of One Piece in the next five years. And I was going to ask you, does that seem you know, likely? In the next five years? Yeah. Nah, Isn't it going to be like 10 years? I'm just... You don't think so? I feel like this this the end of this arc is going to lead to something very major like a dramatic shift um, so yeah. we'll see we'll see but i know the uh, the writer he came out and said hey we're about like 65 percent of the way done with the story and this was a couple years ago so yeah but i mean look at naruto they they still milk it with boruto so <laughs> yeah but, yeah, but, but, but that i mean the original author is not working on boruto is he that's someone else. No, yeah, I don't yeah. know. He basically just looks he, he, Yeah, he, he's like there to oversee it, but no. Yeah, he's, he's not writing he's, Porto. He's not, yeah. Man, he ain't overseeing nothing. Never. He just collected paychecks. One Piece was fun. I don't I mean I don't watch One Piece, but I'm not gonna put it in the same level as like Naruto or Boruto. I will say Boruto. Uh I think it's a I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be it's 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 gonna be done uh better than that. And bleach. Well, yeah. FE2 David bleaches. Number one, always. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We'll see how you feel out when, they, when the anime comes back. <laughs> yeah, we'll see our like uh, hey, the shining response is really good. All right. Oh so, yeah, really. I yeah, because that's what everyone we'll says. See. They love the ending yeah. too. All right, Peter. Just before you disappear, time. what's your ranking of the big three? And let's put Hunter X Hunter in there as well. So big four. Let's put that in there. <laughs> Hunter X Hunter. Oh man. Um, I'd say One Piece Hunter X Hunter. Uh, Naruto and then Bleach, but all right, wow, fair enough. so much for fair number enough. one. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. That was Thank a good uh, one piece session, guys. That was good. You were, we even had a full. You are amazing. <laughs> Welcome, guys. That was a plus ultra. Twas. Yes. Uh, wrong anime. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's gonna be it for One Piece, and then we're gonna move over to Tower of God. Yeah, let's shift gears, if you know what I mean. Shift fourth gears. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah. again, because I fucked up last week's episode, I'm just gonna give, I guess, quick recap of I think was it was what was this week's episode? Was it episode four? Four. four. Okay. Yep. So episode three was when they did the they did they did the tests with Kuhn. And like trying to open the door within the first five minutes, and the 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 rubbery guy, whatever, giving dropping hints, and then they end up in a bonus game. So then, and um, they had the team with um the lizard lizard girl and um the purple tracksuit guy, and um the other samurai guy. I don't remember any of these names, but just call. Uh, I got you. I, I think Hatsu is samurai guy, and 
I think was it Aka or something? An Anka? An- Anka? Anka? Anak, I think. Ana- was... Wait, yeah, Anak. I think you're right. Was the we lizard shall girl. call her. We shall call her Lizard Girl because that's what Rock called her. <laughs> yep, that's all I know her. I don't know her. So they, they basically. Uh, Taylor, do you so... know her name? I'm pretty sure it's Anak. Well, or something yeah, like that. it's Anaka. Okay. Okay. Anaka or Anak. Yeah. Anak. Yeah. Or so I heard it's because she yeah. always Anakas instead of rings the bell. <laughs> <laughs> So the bonus game yeah, is um basically like if you win this bonus game you get to skip I guess you get to skip to climbing the tower. So I guess like all the things you did before, not even like climbing the tower, just the preliminaries just to have the chance to climb the tower. So they're in the bonus game and then and, and then like those three teams, they're the one so Anak she has she has the crown right now on the on the chair and whoever keeps the crown, you know, wins at the end. So that was last week's episode. This week is just the continuation. Um, so they had well, they had one team that was basically like forgettable because I don't remember who any of them were. Dude, the sleeping guy, no, forgettable. No, no, that, that, that the no, no, no. The, the second oh. team was a sle- oh. sleeping guy and um, the, the the chick and the other guy with the horn. I don't know, but sleeping guy, you know, revealed he had he had Shinsu, so he's like the magic user. Yeah, man. he was uh he was pretty busted, although a little uh horrible when it comes down to planning, I feel like. Yeah, it wasn't good. Uh cause, yeah. Cause dude's just gonna stand up and then just suddenly shoot his laser beam and expect it to be like a direct hit. Like like it's gonna be Dragon Ball where you just stand there, look at the beam and just 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 get hit all of a sudden. Yeah. So um yeah, he could have done better with that sneak attack. I yeah. uh, um Well and then well and besides that, like they did, they revealed that like um, Anakshi has one of the weapons. Was it the thirteen month series? So she has the green April, whereas yep. whereas Bomb he has the the black March. And they also okay. revealed that she's a princess of Jihad too. So more more uh, re- revelations of the lore here. So look at that royal blood in the tournament. I'm telling you, Rachel, she's an outcast with the royal blood or something. Like it's in there. It's going to be like that. By yeah, the way, that's why is the lizard there then? Too is she outcast as well? No, I'm not saying she's outcast, but I think some of the royal family is probably like, "Bro, I want to be in this tournament," and then the parents were like, "Eh, you know, whatever. If you're going to be well, in there, at least take this royal weapon with yourself." So, there was a part where the chick that I guess could be considered Rachel or whatever, like her teammate, mm-hmm. was like, "It's time to get rid of like imposters or some shit, or like show who's an imposter." So, you know, you could see where it goes. Because I think she said some shit about a knock being like an imposter or some shit. Yeah, oh, yeah she, that or she, she whispered that to her or whatever, or mouthed it. Even though you can read yeah. that at all, I was like, what "Well, yeah." But then the subtitles <laughs> after after that line was like, "Was it like um, takes the imposter, call an imposter, or something like that?" That's what she said. So just pretty much just calling her out. She got mad and was like, "Damn." Yeah, pretty much. Well, you know, she was on the last and just walked off of the thing. So. I just find it weird how royalty is actually in participating in this uh, preliminary as a climber tower. Like it makes you think about the um, the original princess that that Bam Bam meets earlier. Uh, Yuri. Yuri. Oh yeah. But like, Yuri. yeah, it's... like why? Like if they're if they're already royalty, and then why are they trying to climb a tower? I don't think Which it's don't like royalty by birth. I think it's like you. It's like a title because Kuns sister she was chosen i think she wasn't she also chosen as a princess yes so she, i think she got the title so i think like so i think in, the, in this world i guess it's like it's a title that you get rather than like being like gated by birth or whatever or you're related to the king but i'm gonna yeah. still say i'm gonna stick with sasha's things like it, it basically so far all we know is a ro- royalty it's been like uh they were like an outcast in a sense and um i mean that's really the only thing i had because like Cause the, cause the guy with the briefcase, he's royalty, right? I don't know. If he's really royalty. Cause, cause like, cause, cause it made it sound like in the backstory that his sister had to be the one chosen, and he was helping her get chosen. So I don't, or maybe he was like, maybe he was part of the branch family too. That could be another possibility. <laughs> Wasn't his sister royalty though? I, I would say royalty. Or, or, maybe, or, 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 maybe they were like a noble family. Maybe yeah, get, like noble or like a branch family. Yeah. So, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Dude. I did. 
Oh, go ahead, sir. Uh, no, there you go. Uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll, oh, sure, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, sir. That was so gentlemanly. Gentlemanly. Oh, um, go ahead. Do we know how long like the preliminaries last to get to the to get to climbing the tower? Like, have they mentioned that at all? I don't think so. They just no. kept mentioning more and more tests. I mean, the fact okay. of the matter is, is it really that important? Because they're like, oh, let's set up a side thing to make up for the fact that we have these people murdering everybody in the game. Yeah. So it feels arbitrary. It, like, makes it doesn't seem. Yeah. Right. It's just like any anime where like they throw in this random rule and they're like, huh, just kidding. Now we're going to change the stipulation. And they're like, oh, no. no. So <laughs> that's, only, that's but, like, I was going to say, that's like the only thing I don't like about tower is just like yeah the arbitrary arbitrary rules and exams they have to do well and we'll see we'll see there's probably like the whole reason this is set up is because of the scheming that one guy messed up so yeah they set this up on the side real quick so if there's a good reason for it i'm okay for it but you know they they have to definitely explain that portion uh but i was gonna say blue turtle using his <laughs> briefcase as a way to absorb things kind of like a shield in a sense and then fighting i thought that was pretty neat to see why he's carrying that briefcase because i'm like why is he carrying that with him so Dude, and hiding all the bars, man. Bro, yeah man overpowered bro holy shit yeah um, you can food. absorb other powers or whatever comes inside it's it's like a limited bag it's 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 crazy powerful but who knows if there's a limit to it bro it was absorbing <laughs> like shurikens the like shinsui powers it, i i don't think there is a limit to it to be honest yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But fairly interesting to see. I wonder if he's the only one who can use that or can anybody who possesses it. What if that's one of the 12 month weapons or whatever it's called? 13, 13 months. Month. Um, only he that can or use it. Okay. Only he can use it. Ooh. Ooh. You said well, that you very firmly. That? <laughs> how do you know that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cheater. Spoilers, manga reader, <laughs> manga reader, runer. <laughs> say, friend, say, uh, yeah, catchphrase. I, I, uh, because, because a 13 I, month I, uh, weapon, like, yeah, those are the, the, I think it's like those are passed out, passed down to royalty, even though for some reason Bomb gets to use Black March. So, I don't say it's, I don't think it's one of the 13 or 12 weapons, though, just because his family wasn't selected as the, the royalty well, or as a princess. So, I think. It's either like a an item that's passed on within his noble family, or like like Taylor mentioned, maybe it's something he picked up once he was like exiled from wherever he well, was. Well, remember um, was it bombs a uh, sword? Where basically the only reason why he has it is because like the spirit within it or whatever it is is like interested in him yeah. or wanted to yeah. travel well, was, with him. I was also gonna say too, like the thirteen weapon series, they have like the the red circle marks, like the three circles on them. So, right. Like that's I think that's how you can tell it's like one of those is by that red mark. It could be like Black Clover, man. When the when the, you know, like the the book chooses you. Uh, yeah, sure. Except yeah, better. That's like, that's like a lot of animes. Yeah, sure. Get yeah, out here, dude. That was the first one. That was the first one. Yeah, the first yeah, one yeah that chill that. Harry Potter. That was the first thing that popped in my mind, though. Okay. So it's because there's not many shows this season, David. Back up. It's not going to be this season, <laughs> man. It's just like just backlogs <laughs> of other shows. Also, Harry Potter is an anime. So it could, can't could be. talk about that here. Hey man, it, it can't listen. Could be. Media <laughs> borrows from media. Yes, yes. <laughs> borrows. Golden quote. Yes, yes quote. <laughs> I do gotta say, tracksuit guy. I feel bad for not knowing his name because he's a pretty entertaining character. I like the fact that he had some fighting skills, and he's like, "Oh no, I'm not strong enough." <laughs> But, Dude, that's yeah. definitely basically just to like debate everybody else. It's well, like, oh god, I'm weak. Don't it, come for yeah, me. And it, it was destroy. It was funny seeing him like actually put up a fight, but then he was like saying, "Huh, so these people, they're not as strong as I thought they were." So he's just basically meaning like like they're all weak. So yep. Yeah, didn't someone didn't someone think that he was like sleeper OP? <laughs> I'm not pretty the sleeper sure. Guy was sleeper OP. Uh huh. Was it Taylor? Okay. Someone made yeah. Someone did make that comment. I don't know who. Mm, no, it wasn't me. Okay. okay. I don't yeah, know. It can't be Taylor. She knows everything. So it can't possibly <laughs> yeah. be her. All I, know, all I know is Peter, like at the beginning, he basically said, like, I would be that guy. And first I was like, oh, God, this guy's got to be trash. And then at first it looked like he was trash. <laughs> but then I think Peter didn't even realize that how, like, how, like, I don't know, OP, but just like how, like, a, just a debating I mean, character. He's still, like, so far. I don't know, OP, because he still, like, was hiding behind his teammates. 
Well, we don't know like how the like how do they pick the people that do we know uh, how the how the people pick or how they're picked to like actually to climb the tower or chosen to climb the tower? Well, is it just uh, random? Well, or do you have to, have to pass the test because? Or sorry, no, before the test. I'm sorry because you know, like, how do you get the? You know how like the rabbit guy showed up for? Uh, oh, I don't. I think for the MC, I assume it's like open. Like, yeah, we don't know. The first, oh, okay. the first test had like 400 people before the Bell Royale. I think yeah, it's I'm like pretty just sure it's a just call open. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I think anyone who wants to go can climb it. They just have to pass these tests so, yeah, first. So even you can. Join you might have to be vegan, and... I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, makes sense. Totally makes sense. <laughs> yes, friend. So it's march, the... march, march your ass over there and play in that battle royale. <laughs> nah, man. If it's vegan, I'm out. Ooh. Yeah, we'll Maybe. see what's gonna happen. I, I gotta say, Lizard Girl, I liked her better when she was quiet. Now that she's Bakugo Junior, I'm like, eh, you know, I kind of lost some. Um, besides so Purple there... Suit Guy, yeah, I I just don't like that team. Besides Purple Suit Guy, um, I definitely want to see the hooded people and what what they're all about. So I think this next episode is really gonna be, yeah, we're moving the show forward, or it's gonna be like, okay, now it's going into kind of trope territory. Well, so what do you guys think is gonna happen with? Because uh, you know, like, um, he he made the bet with the Lizard Girl. For the swords, like, do you think he's gonna win it? Or... There's no way he's losing. Yeah, but um, but with the other yeah. people though, like, but Dude, and then uh, right. the other girl that I already forgot her name. Fucking the Rachel looking chick is gonna be that like, one. <laughs> Why do you... She's gonna do some shit and then let like, him win it. And then Brian, you think it's from... Rachel looking? You don't think it's actually Rachel? That Dude. definitely would. I could see that being you know with a uh, being a a manwa. She's gonna I could see that basically gonna where just... she just dies right here. She's gonna play stupid. I just feel like I don't know who you are. Get the hmm. fuck away from me. That sort of shit. I got you, Brian. I think it's gonna build more than that. They're gonna. It's gonna come down to maybe their two groups, and then in that moment where they're gonna be decisive and defeat them, she's gonna hesitate because of that original interaction she had with Bon Mi, and then boom, blue guy's gonna take advantage, and their team wins it in the end. Potentially, yes. You heard it here first. Folks. That's like <laughs> that's probably gonna happen. But I, got I, would, you, Brian. I would think he would hesitate more though than uh, than she would because it, it made it that's all he does. Like, well, I mean, he yeah, all he needs it, to do yeah. is sit there, look pretty with a crown on his head. That's all he needs to do. True. All the weapons Ooh, think there, he's yeah. attractive, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a handsome boy. Oh, yeah, you look. You're good. you're the normal looking guy. You're not like a, Dude, you're not a lizard or anything. Dude, what if this is the the tale of Gilgamesh? Uh, Gilgamesh, and this <laughs> is how he started. And he got all these swords. He started out with the thirteen weapons, right? Just Maybe? collects oh, them all. Snap. That's, I'm Just pretty sure that's a hell of an epic of Google Mesh is. Maybe it's hey, a Korean version. Fate, I don't babe. know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I would imagine that they would win because you know plot armor and the blue turtle has that OP bag, and um, cool. he's well, he's cool. going to pick up. Well, no, no, Blue Turtle. Uh, and then he's going to pick up this this other sword, and he's going to meet more princesses and grab their swords, and he's going to collect all 13. And when he finally makes it to the top of the tower, he's going to be the next Gilgamesh. That, that's my prediction. I mean, nice. he could always just lose here, too. I mean, because they're not, like, knocked out or anything. They, he just has to go through the preliminaries, and he just loses a sword that wasn't originally no. his. No, the sword doesn't number. really do anything anyway plot right armor. now, no. besides just have wrapping that came out of somewhere. If this show wants to get an eight or above in my book, it needs to follow these steps. Okay. Blue guy <laughs> definitely doesn't win. Black turtle ends up winning the tournament. And the moment he's hoisting up whatever you get as a prize, he's hoisting up in the air. The sun's shining. Everyone's shocked. Like, oh my gosh, he actually won it. We can't believe it. And then you see a spear go straight through his heart and it's rock. <laughs> he's like, yeah, but I told you not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, starts like eating his liver <laughs> and then it just it just flashes black and it goes the end tower of god uh, I like my prediction better but I like right, right. better <laughs> I mean if slashes were to happen I would not be expecting it even with uh, even with this um, <laughs> with this saying to the, uh, right here turns out this was written by M. Night Shyamalan uh, oh man <laughs> Damn. So I'm gonna be. I guess I'm gonna be the only one here guessing that um, that because uh, uh they've been hinting for a while that that um Rachel is like not the person she meant she's that bomb thinks she is. So I think she's gonna like, I think she's on. It's gonna be actually her and she's gonna be the one betraying, betraying him because like they keep hinting at that? it. So I think like Ooh. so he's gonna be the one like like traumatized by her by her betrayal. 
And that I think that's when Kun like steps in because then he gets he does a flashback where the one guy was saying like are you ever tech are you ever tech him looking who had, who who had the same eyes as you did when you were betrayed or whatever. So that's just my, hmm. my guess. Bold that's prediction. What if, what if what if this happens? She takes off her hood, but at the same time, she yanks on her hair, and it's revealed that she's a man, and her name's Raphael. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I must have got my uh, my version, but we'll keep that in mind too. M Night Shyamalan strikes again. Raphael, uh, I would I would give up on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm just that I can't. I wouldn't be able to continue it. No, no, that's when, that's, when you, that's when you join you join Peter and reading the manga. <laughs> that's when I would become that guy who writes horrible endings to shows. It just gets paid to do that. So, where yes. the, the entire show up to that point was so good, then all of a sudden everything was a train wreck. It becomes top ten worst endings. Oh yeah, <sighs> dude, he can't get much worse than Game of Thrones and Dexter. So that's that's me right there. Fair point. <laughs> that's you. Come on. <laughs> that's how I roll. Don't even compare Game of Thrones to Dexter. Oh, that... <laughs> no, I'm just saying uh... the endings. The, the yeah, show quality, that's a whole different story. But the endings, you know, they, they, they were stretchy like that. But I digress. I digress. <laughs> Anyways, Tower of God, fairly interesting. I think it's it's building up. This next episode, I think, is going to be key on whether or not I feel like watching the rest of this. I mean, Peter keeps comparing it to Hunter x Hunter, so we'll see. It's Hunter, that, that's, Hunter. that's a very... Very bold claim. Very bold claim. I mean, not, I don't know about the quality, but like I think like the structure of like... Like a lot of the exams and the tower climbing, so we'll see. I'll, I'll give it a shot. If he's saying that, I'm gonna give it a much longer leash than I have in mind. Uh, well, we'll see how, how far we'll the anime goes too. So there's also that. True. Yeah, let's, true. Let's say yeah. if there's only 13 episodes. We watch it. It's still good. Would you just read the manga then instead of waiting for another season? Nah, this this show doesn't have manga reading quality to me. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like Promise Neverland, Demon Slayer, Hunter Hunter, those are the type of shows where you're like, damn, this is so well written. I want to read the manga and still watch the anime, and I, I would get a kick out of it. This is just kind of like, and just let me watch the anime, you know. Fair enough. I can relate to that. Yep. All right. Does anyone have anything else for Tower of God? Nope. Raph- Raphael. Any Raphael. closing statements? Raphael. Just, Raphael, just yeah. Raphael. We'll keep that in mind now. All right, so that's gonna be it for Tower of God. Um, we're gonna move on next to Glapner. Glapnir. There you go. Lapner. So <laughs> again, recap on last week's episode, last week's episode. Um, I don't know which episode it was, but basically, uh, they're, they're episode three. 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 Okay, so they're hunt. They're trying to find Elena, and they're in the train station. Which David ruined for us by telling us that that was his sis or her sister. Okay, yep. it kind of it kind of hinted at it, so to no. defend David, no, no. Okay, all right, okay. all right. Sorry, David. I okay, tried. well, so so three, <laughs> like they, I mean, they're just recovering from killing um the 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 track the track and field girl, and then um the trying like that's when Claire reveals she's looking for her sister, and then they they found like something that he can smell to to track her, and they find her at the the train station, and then they're about to shoot her. Or, or uh, Shuichi was about to, sh- or, or no, Claire was about to shoot her, but then Shuichi like hesitated at the last second, and then that's when Elena transformed her into her her form, which is like this magic like black mist, black mist like particle thing, <laughs> and just like yeah, appears okay. behind them, and then that's when it's revealed that Elena was the one that turned Su- Shuichi into the weird dog costume thing, and then at the very end, um, she she um. She was freaked out that there was a, like there was a girl inside like Chewie's costume. So then, she yeah, just, she ripped the head off. She ripped the yeah. head off. Yep. Yeah, that's and how then, the episode ended. So then, so this episode, and we got our answer. Yeah. On whether or not bullets would actually harm her, and nope, she was able to regenerate like nothing. Yep. So even if connected, it wouldn't have done anything, probably. Yeah. Yep. Wait, did she? Uh, she didn't get shot. Yeah. This episode, did she? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she I mean, got. She got like four times yeah yeah claire claire tried to shoot her and it just went right through her no but that's because she was already aware like she was like head on but oh well or first step, I, I was like either, either way from side or from behind her her monster thing seems to be op honestly so i wouldn't be shocked yeah if... same 
She seems like aware or unaware. Huh. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. So, and and then like, just just more revealing about how um just Elena like she yeah she did kill like their parents and then she some reason it's such it's for Claire because they both hear their parents but I don't think Claire really wanted to kill her parents she was just unsatisfied with their family life. And then, well, yeah, I mean, the, let's the take choices. a look at it. That Elena had good valid reasons for doing so. I, I think she was justified, right? Dad's a dirty businessman who's making some deals at work. Hey, he was, that no, are no, he was, no, he was no. a legislator, right? I mean, that's, that's, he's a politician. Hey, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, he's a politician. That's how he's a politician. <laughs> he had more power. All right. And then mom cheated on him with some like 14 year old boy or whatever. No, he was a younger, younger employee. So it's probably he, some 20 year old. Younger co worker. Yeah. Hey, listen, man, we don't know these things. Okay. Where does she work? Okay, so <laughs> I, I don't know. In her head, she was justified. What do you guys think? Were those justifiable reasons for killing one's parents? We don't uh... really know much about their family life, so but I'm going to say no. By anime logic, yes. By anime <laughs> nope. logic, yes. Uh, Thank you. I, 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 I think, uh, I think she's not. a bit crazy, you know? Like, kill, oh, she's definitely yeah. crazy. Killing, oh, yeah, killing definitely. parents and then also forcing, I guess, I assume she had a crush on Suichi, so forcing the guy she likes into the monster... And it slightly overreacts by ripping his head off because somebody else was inside. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know, Sven. If someone caught your man uh, with another girl, you you might do rip, something rip like their head that off. to you. Right. Taylor, your thoughts? Yeah, you know. No, no uh, comment. All right. So, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's a little bit of an overreaction. You heard it here. You know what? I, I feel like it's, it's <laughs> okay. the reverse All of right. most stories, though. You know how there's always that one guy who's like, yeah, that's my girl. And it's creeping and then goes crazy and some shit happens where he murders her or whatever it is. There's always that like extreme jealousy from the guy side. So it's interesting the story flipped that. And now it's uh, well, from the that, girl side. That's because it's, this is the anime. It's, uh, it's something, it's like, it's kind of a trope in anime because like. I was going to say, yeah. Because oh, okay. um, this is a shonen or shonen or a seinen show. So it's like, it's it's a, the target audience is male. So it's like, it's always. The female love interest that goes crazy jealous for the guy because he has other mm. female love interests so it's not that them it's not that unusual in anime <laughs> because of the audience got it got it got it i feel like real life hey eh, who knows oh no real life it, yeah sure, it's usually sure. the guy but like this is anime so yeah yep you got pander to the audience fair enough and so yeah but she's definitely psychotic yeah um i found a pretty interesting touch that once she ripped off his head he put it back on, and in real life, he has not a massive scar, but he does have a very evident scar. Yeah, around his scar, neck. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't even. Yeah, know which I'm. Scar. I'm curious. I like how people were like, "Hey, man, you're not wearing your glasses," but they don't notice a giant <laughs> <It's> scar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, my eyes are up here. Okay, not not here. My eyes are yeah. up here. All right. Yeah. They're like, oh, you seem like you know more sure, confident and sense. everything. It's just like See, that, nobody's like. That's like, a, that's like a, a detail I didn't even notice in the manga, but I noticed in the anime. It's like, oh, I don't remember that scar being there. So yep, and also and like then, all, and then also like Elena is like friendly working with someone. So yeah, I don't trust that guy at all. His story seems very shady. Are you talking about, about the alien? Or yeah, yeah, how the aliens crash landed and then the coins separated. Blah blah blah. He needs their help. Um, it's kind of like Shuichi said. Shuichi, he said, you know, I can't take this guy for his word, and I feel the same way. I'm sure there's some truth to that story, but a lot of details are being left out. Yeah. Just like he lied well, about Elena, obviously. Yeah. I don't think he. I don't think the the alien lied. He just didn't tell him the whole truth. Like I'm sure everything that he's mentioned so far is the truth. Uh, I think there's major twists to what he's saying. I think he's given them the nice version, so they'll buy into it and work with him. But I don't think the purpose of what he mentioned is true. I'm, I'm not saying I know the answer, but I don't feel like he's like, oh, we're nice aliens, and you know, if you collect the coins, we're going to give you this power because everything that's being alluded to is very dark and negative and he's like making it sound like oh yeah you're gonna get superpowers it's gonna be fun <laughs> i uh i kind of agree with ku here I, I don't think i don't think the aliens is trying to be malicious i think it's he's just more ignorant or naive of like of um his actions so he probably doesn't think he's doing anything wrong but then like he like his actions probably end up like causing a lot of trouble so it makes it right, we'll put more 50 like, bucks on it <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it, it makes you think like uh, where he, he thinks that everybody cares about power. And it's just like, oh, if you could do this, like I can give you power. Um, when really, oh, yeah, he, read, he read all the manga. Everybody wants that? When he crashed on Oh, he yeah. Writes, he read yeah. manga and watched anime and he assumes that's what everyone wants. 
Oh, man. I mean, in all honesty, in the previous episodes, uh, he did make that comment that, you know, he was positive that the nice human beings would help him because they're all friendly. So I think he just has that, in comparison, like a child's mindset where he's yeah, really so naive. Yeah. Right. And then maybe he's not really implying anything. He just likes manga. He likes learning all about this human culture. And then he just thought that that would be what draws Shuichi and Claire and say, hey, would you ever want to be a superhero? Do you like manga? I think it's fascinating. If you get 100, I can make sure that this is a, a reality for you. So mm. uh, I, like I said, I don't think he's lying. I think he's telling the truth. But of course, this is from like a child's mindset. And then I'm sure like humans like, chaotic nature can twist that or change that to whatever their uh what's the word to whatever their reality would want it to be so hmm. it seems like right. it seems like the like the show had, definitely has like more darker elements um so that's why like i i don't really know what to think i don't know if he's gonna be if he's actually telling the truth if it's if it's gonna be that light hearted or if it's gonna be kind of like darker later on yeah, I have a uh, feeling I'm there's gonna be sure something darker. Like... Yeah, well, wait, wait, we talk yeah. about like strand, like what do you mean, like lighthearted? Like, well, no, like how it's just like what he said, like where it's just like where he just makes it sound like there's like he just wants people to collect his coins. There's gonna be like nothing, like that's all he wants. There's not gonna be like any kind of major, uh, any kind of like major oh, events. Oh, then, it. then I agree with that. Yeah, I think he's just being naive. Okay. okay. You also got to remember the story he shared. I think there's a point to that story where he said. Do you guys read manga? Do you guys watch anime or movies? Well, wouldn't it be so cool to have this ultimate power where you can ruin entire cities and oh, control yeah. them, etc.? So yep. I think what his story is basically alluding to the fact that this is the ultimate plan of the aliens potentially is to collect these coins because I would think, okay, he's innocent if there was a balance of good and bad, but a dog with sniffing powers and a giant gun and then a weird shadow creature that makes people kill their own families don't sound like the nicest of aliens, <laughs> if you will. So well, I mean, to me, no. all the evidence is pointing to we got to consume life to well, get stronger. Well, no, he also, he also did mention that all of those abilities or powers that had manifested from drinking that... Uh, uh, the, the drink. Like, yeah. micro, yeah, the drinks that has like micro technology <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, that it's just... Wrong. <laughs> right, it's the aliens, right? But it's just a representation of what you really want yeah, inside, like all your inner too. desires. So it's not really, again, it's not really the aliens. It's just humans kind of twist it to their mm, to their okay, greed, to their desires. Yeah, that's know? exactly what I was so, gonna say. So cool. So like, again, exactly it's like mark. it's 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 very neutral, but it's just based on the the wearer or the the holder or whatever you know. Yep. So I, I don't think it's it's really chaotic, but again, it's it's just very neutral. And it's just humans putting their twist into it. I mean, let's D and D be chaotic neutral. So, right, right. Throw D and D into this, you know. <laughs> right. Brian, have we uh, talked to you into any interest in the show yet? What? If you're there, <laughs> have, like through these talks, has it made you like, interested in, in the show at all? Uh a little bit. Okay. Brian, all watch right, four Brian. episodes of the show. I'll send you a picture of my abs. Cool. <laughs> I bet I'm. I'm I'm looking at it right now. Oh, all right. But uh, trust me, Brian. At least give it two episodes though before you judge it. Okay. Two episodes. Two episodes. Yeah. Two episodes. If if you're not hooked after the second episode, then I guess you you might not like it. But the second episode should have hooked you in. The first one's weird, and you're like, ah, you know, I'm kind of on the border, but the animation quality is good. You know what I'm saying? And then the second one, you're like, oh dang, I didn't see that coming. Let's watch this. So. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, so yeah, I think it's like episode four. Like, this is basically like the prologue or the first arc because, um, you saw at the end there that they are walking, they're walking to the like the mountainous area because they think that's where the spaceship land is. So, they think that's where more coins are. That's basically got transitioned mm-hmm. to the next arc. Yeah. So. And then I really like how they've set up this, uh, this arc for the next, uh, arc, right? Uh, MC's character development, um, they're they're going at a decent pace, I think. I didn't really like the MC at first, but now he's become mature. He's realized the the. I don't know about mature, more like edge lord now, but David, would you say no, parasite would... vibes? <laughs> it kind of reminds you of that, but but not as not as crazy because I think I think the main character he's like I think she she still hesitates, so he, he still needs Claire inside him to control. 
Yeah, he's getting there. In. Of course, well, it would yeah, be too soon for him bad. to make that full. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I, mean, I thought this was even pretty yeah, quick because compared to Parasite, the Parasite, the, the like the change happens like over time, and then there's a point in Parasite where like, he completely changes. So, so we just not at that level yet. Yeah, but at least he's more aware of the situation. And he even made that comment that, oh, you know, maybe he's not the MC of this chapter or this story. You know, well, like, it's... I wonder who it could be, but... The more important line is when he says, like, him and Claire are really different because, like, he's still, like, hesitating to be involved with all this, whereas Claire, like, this is the only thing she has now because, like, she just lost her family. She doesn't have any, like... She doesn't want to do anything else besides, like, be involved in, like, this alien... Hunter's sister down too. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but uh, even though oh. he says that, his actions show that he's actually pushing it forward. Because there are moments where Claire, yes, you can right. tell she's on the verge of self destruction. He's like, I got you, Claire. Let's do this. And then she falls in love with him even more, which is <laughs> what's moving the story forward I mean, right now. So I think he's barely like moving forward because he's like, he's like, he's like, I don't know, the vehicle or like the tool that she can use. But like, like, she, she, like she still has to like act on her own. It, like, like Chuichi's not the one like encouraging her to do anything. So no, I think I, uh, I, I, I would disagree. By the there. end of this episode, yeah, I feel like at the end of this episode, it's kind of like it's been either more like fifty fifty or it's swapped to where Chuichi is more of the guy that's taking initiative into doing all of this. Because yeah, like I said, with, with this episode, like he completely developed to what an MC should be, I, I believe. And Claire was about to commit suicide. So I, I don't think she's pushing anything besides well, I mean, kill myself because of what just happened. She thought he was he was already <laughs> dead, so I don't know. Like, I just I don't. Right. Like, but then even after that, he's like, "Let's let's go, let's do this." And then he lays down in his bed. He goes, "I don't trust this guy." And I think he had a pretty interesting conversation with Muffin, whatever the hell her name is, um, that weird girl. <laughs> Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, Mingune. <laughs> Oh, there you the go. Her name shall forever be Muffin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I had no clue what you're talking about. Her. Her. Yeah. Ooh. Mutambo. So when she she approached him, he asked her a very serious question. And then he's like, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one thinking that way. So you can tell he's like, I don't want to do this, but I have to. And Claire is using that as kind of assurance. And now at the end of the episode, she even says like, hey, you're going to be fine because you're with me. So they need each other in that way. So I feel like it might tip towards him becoming more of the controller and the one in charge by the end of the arc or the show. But right now, I feel like we're seeing that transition where she's probably confused as to, oh my gosh, why is my sister acting like this? What's the real story? I don't really believe what's going on. And then he's going to step into, yeah, man, I got to take care of this because she still has that coin. So who knows what she's going to do with that? Yeah, so. But yeah, I think it's well-written. Well done so far. Um, I'm I'm definitely hooked. I was gonna say too. Um, so like they keep, like the alien guy keeps trying to push, um, Claire to be, like use the coin to become to get powers, and then she, I don't think she's ever gonna do that. I I just can't see her like, like yeah, turning like using it to turn herself into like a transformation. I think like unless unless it was like a last resort thing. Last resort, but I don't know. I I think even this first this first like um season, I I think it's she still gotta rely on Shuichi. Mostly, I can't really see her. Yeah, at least yeah, at least I'm in sure this it. at least in this like first sure arc, I don't case. think she's gonna use a coin. Muffin is gonna be sacrificed, or she's gonna be the one to use the coin. I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Muffin's gonna be part of this hmm. too. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like she's kind of like lurking off to the side. It can't just be. She can't just be there for a love triangle. It's gotta be something else. <laughs> you no, love, she's love she's gonna be that one that's like tango. I guess. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Love yeah. Yeah. No, no, she's no. She's going to be the one only that two. makes it snap. She's the third one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're you're a third on my list. <laughs> Actually, I, I would put her second because that crazy one, I would not mess with that. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't fuck with that. No. Yeah. No. Gun to the no. back. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> what is You've that? evolved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Indeed. The, the show is very interesting. I, I think it's definitely, I, I, obviously, we have uh, slim pickings in terms of. How many shows we have this season oh, and ones yeah. that have not been I'm delayed. I'm just glad that yeah, it's not delayed still. I, I think the quality has, has really continued to uh, improve. And the show, I thought, oh man, my one worry was, what if the second episode was a, a one-hit wonder where it kind of falls flat after this? But it's done a great job. And even after ripping off his head, I'm like, what's going to happen next? Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it picks right up and you're like, wow, okay. So They threw this, a lot more I, like story elements too as you from it. 
Now, yeah, it's just it's good. Go ahead, sir. No, no. Now again, uh, usually the first arc of these these series is always good, and they hook you. Mm-hmm. But then, from my experience for the past year and a half <laughs> or two, after the first arc, everything just kind of goes downhill in a unrepairable spiral. Um, so hopefully, uh, the next two episodes, hopefully they don't like fuck it up. I'm well, there's gonna be a show later that we'll be talking about where I actually it's actually picking up after the first arc. Hmm. So I hope this is one show you're not going to be interested in, Sasha. Sadly, but that's fair. (laughs) But to your point, I think it's what set of rules do they follow? And if you look at, I'm going to use my hero as an example. The fourth arc or the fourth season, I thought the arc started off really strongly, and then it suffered from exactly what you just described. Whereas I would say Demon Slayer does a good job of kind of balancing that, where the show doesn't start off let's just say in like the most fascinating way. Yeah. You know, family gets killed, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, the usual, like someone needs to be sacrificed. Oh my gosh. You know, my parents are inside of a Fox's belly, whatever. So, <laughs> but what it does is I definitely think demon slayer was a show that did a good job of picking up as it went along. Besides that weird drum arc, I thought that was kind of meh, but everything out like the last eight episodes was just phenomenal. And so I could see, Leipnir doing that as well um but it it really depends which set of rules they decide to follow and so far they've done a great job of being in a sense unpredictable which is what i look forward in shows like if i can tell what's going to happen then i I, it's really not that exciting whereas if i'm surprised what's by what has happened in the show then oh yeah this has really hooked me so so far knock on whatever you want to knock on I think Gleipnir has done a good job of not being the most predictable show where it's keeping you off guard. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, totally agree. Uh, but again, I just hope the next two episodes don't ruin it for me. Like <laughs> yep. other shows. Have. Like, like uh, a lot of the shows though, um, that they like where they usually like, there's like powers, like they power up and stuff so far. They haven't gotten any powers, but they're, they're just changing personally, which in a sense is making them stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna like how long it's gonna take before like it, they have to get to something else because I just assume like with how they are now, there's no way they're gonna beat her sister. <laughs> they, they, they've got to get something else. I don't think like her sister is gonna be like the final person to be in the arc. I think like because like because they're hunting the coins and they have to like um they're gonna fight a lot of other people. They have to watch out for other people. I think they, like the other people mm-hmm. are gonna be like the next villain of the next arc. I don't think I think her sister's like way off. Yeah. I mean, Which to, is... to be fair, I, I think they actually could take care of Elena uh, with uh, Shuichi's power of smell, right? Even though she's able to kind of, like, disappear but, like, and then appear around. They still need to find a way to kill her. Someone. Yeah, that's that's the problem. The gun is not magic. Or I'm sure not it's, like, magic, magic bullets, no, but, like we thought. But, but instead of Elena, yeah. <laughs> well, instead of Elena gun, right? Like, they would have to do, like, close quarter combat, right? And then he would have to be able to use his... Uh, sense of smell, right? Overcome their their fear and not freeze up whenever she just disappears. But I think that he actually counters her fairly well. They just have to get over their fear and just like if they had to, like just just fight it out. I figure I have to like they have to figure out how to take her out too because right now they basically just think she's immune. Right. right. Yeah. <clears throat> I think what it might come down to eventually is because she loves him so much, they might have to use that against her, and that's the yeah. question is. Shuichi gonna do that, and I think that's, that's where you're gonna point, see, yeah. yeah, Claire come into play and be like, "We got to do it. This is the only way to defeat her." Because honestly, I think this girl's done some really dark and twisted <laughs> shit to become as powerful as she yeah. has. Like, well, yeah. that's why they're so no afraid lie. of her because yeah. yeah. they smell all the blood that she yeah, exactly, that she exactly. Also, I don't really think she loves him as much as like she's just his only like emotional Obsessed. support. That like because she has uh... nothing in her family besides her sister. So. No, I mean, we still have to figure out their connection. So until we figure that out, we exactly. can't really say for sure. Yeah. Maybe they're both losers and she's just like, he's the quiet one identified with. He wore glasses, but now he I, doesn't. I was going to say, Shuchi's not a loser anymore. <laughs> Hell nope. no. He's a guy he with the <laughs> Yeah, boy. I remember there's some <laughs> old, old, like parody. I don't know if it was Mad TV or uh, what's the one on NBC? Saturday Night. Saturday Night Live. They, they had this guy come into work. And he just had taken some Viagra or whatever, or some sex pills. And like, hey, Jim, did you get a haircut? Hey, Jim, did you, did you get some new cologne? He's like, nope, I got Viagra or whatever it was. And it's just like, uh, okay. So, you know, that's him and his little neck, <laughs> neck okay. thing. Like, something's different about you. Uh, but I just can't see it. I yeah. Just can't. yeah well, 
Why are you so strong? I don't know. Maybe it's because my neck looks like it's got ripped in half. <laughs> nah, it's my bro. Yeah. It's all the energy drink. Yeah. yeah, that weird energy drink. For a second, I thought the way they drew the uh, vending machine, I thought there was a limited amount of that drink. So I was trying to That's count how many there were, but I couldn't tell. Did you guys think there was a limited amount or oh, was God. that just I think it's I full? I'd say it's, so. I'd say it's yeah. infinite, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Fair. But. I'm just going to say, final note, I don't trust the alien. I think he's dirty. I get what you're saying, Koo, but I still think there's <laughs> malicious intent behind the reasons for why he's on Earth, even if they just crash landed, whatever that means. Come on. I mean, these guys <laughs> are aliens who can create spaceships and fly them, but yet they crash land. Get out of here. So uh, <laughs> just because they're different, sir, it doesn't mean that they're dangerous. Okay. Listen, man, we need to make Earth great again. Okay, boy? Okay. <laughs> This is coming okay. from a show that just ripped <laughs> off the main MC's head, so I don't think it's going to be as lighthearted as that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Brian, get on this shit. We need you to watch this. Thanks, Brian. I love you. Yeah, it's, it's, actually, good, it's actually like my... Uh, it's 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 uh, it's I would say it's my favorite show this season. I mean, like Sasha said earlier, slim pickings, but it's... Um, it's I think yeah, it's, boy. It's, it's uh, it up. Yeah. way different than any, anything else that you that you'd probably see. It's worth it's worth giving a shot. I just the only thing I want to mention is that like just one random like thing I noticed is that like is they live in a pretty small town, and I'm pretty sure that train station is like the only train in the town that probably runs like once an hour. So that's why, like when they're walking towards the mountain area, it was probably like a couple miles outside of town. So they're probably not too far from like like yeah like all that the mountainous like nature area. So just something I just noticed. Yeah. That, because they're just going to the mountains, but they haven't picked. Have they picked up a scent or anything? Or they're just walking where they they're just guessing. believe the where they're they crashed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because like because yeah. those because those abandoned like motel by the highway, and then I think it was like episode two or whatever where they were at the Seven Eleven, and like the Seven Eleven was pretty like it was like the only building there basically. So I I just Solid. know I just know it's the, yeah there's a in a pretty small town. So. Okay. Okay. That's like that random town we had to stop in. So I didn't remember when our trade, we thought it would take us to Sogo and it, it stopped like, I don't know, 20 30 minutes ahead. ahead. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Was it? So that's where we were really close. Maybe an hour yeah, and a half or something. We somewhere. were. But yeah. I think we, 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 we got on the trains too late and they stopped because it was did. like a weeknight or it was a Sunday night. Yep. We had no and then we got we out. <laughs> yeah, on a random city. And the only thing around was like a 7 Eleven and one random ass hotel. And luckily we got there. There was only so. two rooms available too. One smoking. I remember Manuel's like, I got you guys. We're like, okay, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we have a smoking and non smoking room. They're both hella smoking. <laughs> yeah. Again, Japan. Yep. Japan Good times. FDW. Yep. 10 yep. out of 10. Yep. All right. Would visit again. <laughs> so that's going to be hey, it. Definitely. Yeah, that's going to be it for Glapnir. And then, um, do you want to move on into Ultime or Drummy Kudu Kage Sama? Taylor, thoughts? Would you like to do Ultime now or wait? I'm fine with either. Okay. David, your call. Uh, we're gonna do, we'll do ultimate because it's through people. So. Okay. So again, I need to recap from last week. Um, was that episode two? That basically like it was the episode where like she grew up. Like, I for, I kind of forgot what happened before she grew up. Was that at the end? Like. Uh, the of the third episode. Yeah. Was that the third ep- The third episode was a. Uh... Yeah, I, th- I think she yeah, she was already grown up, wasn't she? That was the at the end. At the end, yeah, okay. it was at the end. But I okay. I also can't remember what oh, happened in the it. the the albino girl. <laughs> albino um, girl, oh my god! Was hey, that that I'm, episode? I'm taking the term from Taylor. <laughs> uh, it came from her, not me. That sounds uh, kind of fucked up. Uh, just saying. It's hey, just because hey, like no, it's not. She's albino. <laughs> <laughs> She's not magical. She has no reason for looking the way because, that she does. Well, she, no anime a, logic, like what they, they do. live in a magical like, world, straight, though. But she that's so funny. Albino, man. Well, Taylor, but, but Taylor mentioned though before because you know they treated her as an outcast and like you know, she's different from everybody else. She has white hair and red eyes. Yeah, like they keep making fun of like how she looks. I'm like, okay, that, that, this is different than normal. This is not the normal anime logic. Yeah. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, it makes sense. I get, I, like I get that. why, but like, just hearing it out loud is—it's super funny to me. 
So <laughs> yeah, it's not offensive. It's just an observation. It's just of super fact. funny hearing out loud. I'm not offended, so. but our <laughs> viewers might find it offended. Why? Okay. It, oh, is, offending. it is a it is a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a normal thing. Okay, so we're um, not like we're not hating on it. It's just <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I think it was she made friends with like uh, Nicole Nicholas's like little sister, the final girl. Was that so? Were at the party then? That was like the party yes, where she met. That was, okay, that was the party. so they're at the yep. they're at the party. She made friends with little sister because they both love romance lo- novels. Oh God, book people. And then like, and then I guess she complimented the big the big brother, and I guess he fell. In, well, I guess he fell in love with her more because she's like his little sister's only friend. And we then, can just call him Kirito. And then and then Keith got jealous because of another rival. So then after that, that's when they time skip to. When they're in high school, and then, um, like she had like the her birthday party where she danced with her fiance Gerardo, and then he was being a a creep, creep, being a creep, creep, and gave her a hickey. Yeah, and then, that's uh, avoid that at all costs. Yep, and then, so that that ended Stranger with danger. so that ended with um, with yeah, her just starting school. So in this episode is when they actually start school. And... Yeah, cool. This is the show that I mentioned earlier. This is actually the show that's getting better uh, for uh, like every episode. Um, again, uh, synopsis <laughs> said eight year old well, girl. I no, now, not anymore. So, yeah, yes. they're, they're, they're fifteen now. Nope. So I, Dude, I they... cannot risk the FBI oh, right. knocking on my 15. door. They they hell they, look they all look hell, yeah they have a look eighteen plus like it's it's safe coup. It's what? fine. Don't listen yeah. to the numbers are telling you. It's all a lie. No, I'm a good fan. All right, fine. That's something I noticed too, like with like Shoujo or like the one starting for girls. It's like the girls look normal, but the guys are always like like super tall and like 30. older looking. Yeah. Yep. Whereas like in yep. Shonen, it's like the girls are like, like the guys look normal or shorter, and the girls are like, <laughs> are, like super young and, sh- and short. So. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. So, yep. um, so this episode, like, basically, um, like they get, I mean, they get, we get introduced another new character to the. I like guess the student council president, who's like the new guy that we we didn't really see much of, and then we introduced finally introduced the heroine, um, Marie, Maria Campbell, who has Yukino's voice. So the main MC yeah. slash rival or death flag rival person because yes, the death, death flag comes from rival. her picking the other routes, yeah, and screwing over the villainous. So yeah, and so I'm, David, you said that, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna just finish the episode with just like she basically like saves the she saves Maria from like the bullying even though it was supposed to be Gerardo in the original game so she basically adds another one to her harm <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> yeah as per usual to the show but yeah go ahead Taylor yeah, you know. so you'd indicated before that you're familiar with these types of shows and <laughs> yes. like you know how they're gonna go and this is probably pretty typical for one but, so what what role does the student council member play? Like I can't really quite figure out. I'm not exactly sure. What his it's point it's is. really it's really random. Yeah, he would be the he would be the the dude version of a lawyer. Well, okay, that's because like, she didn't she didn't give any <laughs> info about like what his role in the game was. So I don't really know. It sounds yeah. like it sounds like he's it just like he's just like a like a side character in the original game. So I don't yeah. really know. But it's hard to tell because he's in the OP. So it sounds like he's gonna be important. Maybe yeah, maybe another horror OP. member. So, hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. Like, dude, the, this harm size is insane. <laughs> it's so big. Like, I don't even think like the dude harms are this big. Like, they're maybe at max five, maybe six, which you know has no chance. This one, well, I mean, um, like, for all the reverse harms that I've seen, this is pretty standard size. <laughs> okay, there's some where yeah, it's like where it's it's this big. So it's just so that it's not it's not it's usually not like both genders it's usually just mainly girls yeah that's true. whereas like Katarina's just getting them all yeah and she's completely unaware of it too that like everything's happening where she like everybody like we'll just say at this point is friends with her and um yeah. but it, it, and she does it that, that's realize why that's so why scared. the nickname in the anime community is you know instead of Katarina, it's bakarina that's her nickname uh it's so. badly I mean, it's like it's like the same thing that like when like when it's like the rom com of the guys, like the guy never notices the girl's feelings. This is like this is basically yeah. th- that reverse. So it's not that surprising. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> um, um, 
Go ahead. But yeah, the the main character, or I guess, um, Maria? what's her name? Maria, Maria Campbell. Yeah. So Maria got introduced, as you noted, she's uh, voiced by Yukino's voice actress. I don't like her voice, but Duh. other than that, <laughs> like she's fine in Yukino, voice. but this one was too high pitched. That actually, was a, okay, that no, was actually, awful, well, but... uh, yeah. I, I think it's just the character design for me, like just the blonde look. I don't think it really fits Doesn't like, fit. yeah. like her yeah. voice. No. So. so we all agree. We're all in agreement on that. But other than that, she seemed pretty all right. I, I'm just going to pick her but... already as like as, as my route. I want her to go with Maria. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I don't really care about any of the guys. <laughs> the girl. Well, I don't care about yeah, any of the was... guys. So I'd rather her be enough oh. with a girl. Well, I always feel bad for the person that gets bullied and stuff. And it just happens to be her, so. Yeah, but she gets bullied because she's super special. She's going to be okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I think, well, she was only bullied once. I don't think it's going to be a main thing anymore just because they saw, like, that that um that royalty uh, backed her up. No, it's with Katarina, like, defending her. Yeah, she isn't she royalty? She's not royalty. She's just noble. It's her fiancé. She, she just has a giant house. Well, and yeah, because she's, she's no, her, her, her family's no, she's noble. <laughs> her, her family's yes. noble, but she's, like, she's not royalty. She's mar- she's like, engaged to the prince. Yeah. Trent, get you know your goddamn monarchies. Hey, I just saw a giant house, just rich stuff, and I was like, Dude, okay, she's royalty. Know your goddamn monar- monarchies. Dude, but everybody, but everybody even acts like when they see her, she's like, oh shit, royalty, run. No, because she's engaged but, to the prince, so she's gonna be royalty right, in the future. Right, man, all right, all right, all right. And she just, she's just friends with all just, princes. Yes. And possible princesses? I don't know what they are. Well, they didn't never they didn't show any other princesses, just because the only royalty is. The prince and his brother. All right, David. Touche. And plus, like Mary is engaged to the brother, so she's also going to be technically royalty later. Even though she doesn't care at all about that no, guy, she doesn't. But like, bad, but though. like, you know, in the social standings, or or what's, I don't know what's the word. It's like the appearance, you know, like yeah. that they give off. Like they've got to be royalty. So it's, I, it's about the appearance, I friend. Can... Okay, all right, man. Fine. Sorry. Do I need uh, to educate uh, you on the history dude, of European I, monarchies? I, 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 don't, I don't care. Do you about want to go that for War of the Roses? Yeah, I'm not going on intense just for Otobe. I'm not going to learn you all this find stuff. Find inspiration behind but, Game of Thrones. <laughs> but I can see though that, um, like you know, like with that one that you said where uh, one of her friends is um, is uh, engaged to one of the Mary. Prin- princes. Um, Mary yeah, Hunt. I can, I, I, I can see it. I can see it actually her having a nude death leg just because of like that whole thing right there. Well, I mean, everyone... no, I don't know. No, is he into her too? No, yeah, I don't they're think both he... into her. Yeah, they're oh, both well, into her. Death leg for each other. Is because... So well, she's going to be like the, the survivor because like everyone wants her. So they're just going to end up killing everyone else. So it's... they're going to have gotcha. their own red red wedding in the show for her. <laughs> In a, in, a, in, a, in, a comedy, in a comedy Ultima game. Well, I mean, one of the routes was her getting killed by Chirago, so... Yeah, to be fair, this game seems pretty pretty dark. Um, and they're just making it a comedy. Uh, I mean... I mean, if you're... I guess, you, like, I guess, like, they're just if, parodying that, like, in Ultima games, like, like it's always, like, the you know, the main the main character, and then, like, they make the the villainous, like, they just make her evil just yeah, to... Yeah, she's supposed to be villain, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Um, David, you haven't mentioned that uh, your cooking or your gardening came back. Oh yeah, the farming—it's back yeah. briefly. <laughs> they didn't go much into it yeah. though, so hoping she does more farming. Even though it's like it's kind of useless now, just because like she keeps thinking she's gonna get exiled. The, the, the school's gonna catch her. It's gonna be a new death flag. <laughs> it's supposed to be flowers and it's and it's uh, vegetables instead. Death flag right there by the school. I mean, she's gonna be protected gonna be by the prince, war. anyways. For now, so. I'm yeah. just waiting for our shit to get real, and like when someone actually like, where or when she actually when she realizes that like they actually like her and not and I don't. Know. We're not gonna we're not gonna see that. Like, Honestly, I think it's gonna play off more like a Ron Host Club. I think that there will be somebody who's like the clearest contender in the end, or like the two most likely clearest contenders. But I don't think it's actually gonna end up with with anybody. Oh, not this season, at least. It's going to be at the end of the manga or something. Is this sorry, manga or light novel? For Ron Host Club, I feel like, I feel like there's a light old, novel. But... <laughs> I don't. Usually, like isekais are light novels. Oh, I keep forgetting. This is <laughs> isekai, man. isekai. Yeah, I keep it's, forgetting it's about that part. Isekai. Damn you, Kirito. Because yeah. like, one of the guys finally um, 
appealed to me more in this episode. Uh, the the brother of of the blonde prince, the, oh, the silver haired. Yeah, prince. just because he can't remember their names. Uh, Alan, his name's Alan Story, I think. I don't know why I remember these names. They're just two. Yeah, but Alan basically like asking her out and then you know quoting her own words back at her. I was like, very nice move. And of course, it went over her head, but that yeah. definitely gained him a couple <laughs> points because up until this point, the guys were hurting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they weren't they weren't the greatest. You basically have a guy that's, yeah. that's a mute. You have a guy that's a creep. Um, I mean, I, I didn't like Alan because he he had a inferior complex. It seems like he's gotten over it by now. So mm -hmm. yeah, cleaned it up. Yeah, yeah. Keith I, is like a completely different character from the last time we saw him. Like yeah, total turnaround. Yeah, of uh, of dudes, I would say silver hair guy is probably the best than the mute. And then for girls, it would be the you you it'd be you know main girl <laughs> MC. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, get that that home cook um, like muffins. Wait, her name's Maria Campbell. Yeah, Maria Campbell. Dude, so it is legit MC. Okay, there we go. <laughs> wow. Okay. I wonder if they did I that on purpose. I didn't know that now. So no, I'm pretty I'm sure gonna... they did that on purpose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn them. That's that was that was good. I didn't even realize that till I was just I'm... like talk... I was just talking myself through it. Just like yeah. I'm thinking the comedy in this show is pretty good, though. I don't know if you guys are laughing, but like I'm, I am. I'm pretty picky. I'm not saying that I have high quality or better sense of humor by any it's just, means, but I'm really picky. It's just and this I, one makes me laugh. It's different what I'm damn used to, whereas a lot of shonen are like over the top. I feel like mm -hmm. like shoujo's are more like they're more subtle. So mm -hmm. it's like more of an atmosphere that I'm really enjoying than like than the actual like comedy. Mm -hmm. So. I definitely think the best parts of uh, of the comedy for this show is um, it, it's when she's actually like in her own mind and it's like all those different uh, um, it's like all those different person. I don't know if it's personalities or where she has like six of oh, her like the and consoles, they all just kinda, yeah yeah the console and they all just kind of talk amongst each other and yeah. then just like the ridiculous shit they say. That's kind of like that council. Thought... Actually, you know, because I was gonna say it's kind of like. Mm, I was gonna say it was a shoulder thing, but actually, I take it back because you see it in Shonen Zoo. Like I don't know, it's just like I'm trying to describe like, um, like the kami and the writing. It's, it's this like I can't really describe it, but it definitely has that shoujo feel. So. Yeah. But I'm enjoying it like more than I thought I would. Yeah. Like, like, like I said, Coop, it's getting better and better. <laughs> I'm good, man. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> so. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I personally cracked up at the part where she was interrogating Keith after he ran into the MC. Oh, yeah, that part was was too. That he was, was already in love with her. Yep, and like the was... maid stepping in and she's just like, stop. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you're killing the man. Back up. has left his body. Yeah. I do like that guy too. Um, even though like he's basically lived with her his entire life, which makes it kind of weird. And he's but, you know, Yeah, you know, Japan, you know, they don't they don't ask Sweet they don't home care. Alabama. Why Alabama, man? <laughs> Why throw them under the bus? Anyway. Yeah, um, make it Kentucky. <laughs> I, yes. Yeah, make it Kentucky. Kentucky. Uh, but no, I'm yeah, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Also, I I, I, I just I also enjoyed the old P. I don't know. I just... It's... I, I like the ending more, I think, but I have to listen to them again. All right. I hate both. I think they're just terrible. Jeez. Power of God OP is so amazing. I didn't say it was my favorite, but I just I enjoy the OP. <laughs> I don't skip it. I'm glad you know. like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, That's I, I listen to it. Yeah, I listen to the opening and ending every time too. Just cause why not? There's so little shows, <laughs> so I got time. <laughs> so but I think I'm good. Yeah. So it's gonna be it. You good? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. So that's gonna be it for um, ult the ultimate, or I guess Hane Hame Fura is the, the abbreviated Japanese, but it's like ultimate game, like my Wait, life as a villainous. Yeah. Whenever you hear ultimate, it's Hame 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 Fura. Fura. Yeah. I don't know why I can't say like it's just feels so weird to say that. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> and then um, we're gonna move on next to Kaguya-sama. Taylor, were you caught up to Kaguya-sama? I didn't forgot to ask you this before, but. No. Okay, that's fine. Test, test. But um. I'm just kidding. Uh... So I again, let me just recap. Nice to know. Let me just recap like last week's episode because God, what happened last last <laughs> week was um it was it was a birthday, wasn't so, it? They were trying to celebrate no, the birthday. Last... All I remember yeah, so is you guys really liked the episode. 
Yeah, so last week they they reintroduced uh the president's sister and oh, the they sister. went out yeah. shot. Okay, the sister and then the birthday. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep. Uh, so 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 yeah, David, continue. Oh, what okay, happened so, last week? So it was the sister. So yeah, they reached the sister and then we we're commenting how like we felt bad how poor their family was. <laughs> and then um and then uh Kaguya like was trying so hard to celebrate the president's birthday and then she realized she tried too hard. And then um and then she did eventually cut the uh, slice of the cake, and then then she then they re- and she gave the present to the fan, and then that's when the president realized that oh wait he just got played because then she can, uh, was it I forgot what the reason why but it's just like, like he got excited for someone selling his birthday, and then eventually it was back and forth, and then eventually they just threw Chica on the bus because she forgot the president's birthday. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty much. So he thought that it was going to play out in his favor where um, they would be able to isolate or trap Kaguya saying, oh, you like, I, she remembered my birthday. This gift was from her. And then I was like, oh, like, why did you give him a gift? Why did you want to spend time alone with him? And then uh, again, it was kind of confusing because this was all being played out in the president's head. Oh, yeah. So at first I thought that the other uh, possible outcome was also part like of this like uh, prediction or uh, uh simulation but it turns out that was actually what actually happened yeah and then uh luckily uh ishigami came in and he was able to like kind of help the president out and then they just end up throwing chica under the bus yeah so Ish- ishigami yeah. called out chica which is the best part <laughs> yeah dude, I, I swear i think i think like him and chica is probably gonna end up together but uh yeah with this episode or this week's episode man i I feel so bad for the guy. I I, I can't even relate. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So there's a couple of things that I'll I'll do the second part later because there's a bunch of like cultural Japanese things I need to explain. Actually, I feel like I should do that first because I was like that was it's the first half with the the stargazing and the harvest moon stuff. So I'll explain that first and then also really weird how they like, they try to set it up as if it was like the final episode or something with like Student Council dis- disbanding. Yeah, dude, I thought it was the ending too. I was and so I was confused. Like, Wait, like, what's, like what's, what's going on? And then we all got debated at the end. So we can go that later. I just want to uh, mention kind of um, so in Japan um, because like you know kind of like in, in the West like we, we think of like uh, of the moon as being made of cheese. Well like in Japan they, they have this idea this folk tale think of thinking um, there's like when you look at the moon they think like the what the the image of the moon like like the, the craters i think it's they think it's they think it's a rabbit um like making mochi so like there's like a bunch of folk tales of like rabbits making mochi on the moon and then some and cuz i i only knew that from my japanese class and apparently someone once that that also happens in maple story where there's a level where you go to the moon and there's a bunch of rabbits making mochi up there <laughs> so i think it's like an east asia thing like they think it's rabbits making mochi on the moon that's also why Chico was wearing the the rabbit like the the bunny ears because it was referencing oh, it's, yeah, it's referencing that right. that part of Japanese culture. Okay. And also why they were making they were making like well they they were gonna make mochi like while they're watching the moon the harvest moon. And then um and also uh and then they reference um uh, Princess Kaguya so that's like another. Japanese folktale. There's actually a Ghibli movie based off it. I didn't watch it though, but um, the the folktale basically goes like uh, there's like this there's like I think there's like a, this this ba- this baby whatever it gets like found in like a bamboo like tree tree or whatever, and like this guy like take takes care of it, and then she eventually like um grows up. And and she's like she's super beautiful and all the guys want her but like she really she really wants to fall in love with her t- her t- caretaker. And and he he tries to love her back but then it re- she reveals to him that she's from the moon and she has to go back. So and she leaves him even though like, they love each other and she leaves behind like like they said like in the show she leaves behind like this this immortality elixir but he burns it because he didn't want to live forever without her. So that's that's like the general tale of Princess Kaguya and. And yeah, Kaga. That's like that's Kaga's, I guess, name after that folktale. So that's why she says she doesn't like the story because just cause she, I guess, she didn't like, she didn't like how like the story ended. And then that's that's what, on um, the president was like referencing too. Like he would never like let her go. He would like, he would get her back at all at at all costs. So yeah. So like 
basically the first part of this episode, Kaguya was just like a a, a fucking Chad. Like, oh, you guy, mean the president? This guy with his love. Yeah, the president. Yeah, yeah, president. I mean, yeah, the president <laughs> with his love for the moon. He was a fucking Chad this whole episode. Like, Kaguya was just expecting him to kind of like freak dude, out over critical hit, like, man. all these small things. Right, dude. And then, like, hit after hit after hit. Like, uh, he was like, oh, so you want to know about the, 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 the square, like, all these coming closer. stuff, right? Coming closer. Right, right coming closer. Let me show you. And then he, like, like, I don't know. But yeah, like, dude, this guy was just, like, on point with everything. Uh, she said she was going to be cold. He just gave her his jacket without her even asking. Oh, you want and some then, tea? Yeah, I gave him tea, showed her the, uh, like astronomy, and then like the the thing that killed it for her was the fact that like this guy's uh, sh- uh like uh, thought on the story was so totally different to what she had, and then it like to me I I guess if if I were to know of the story I'd probably think the same way too right like the the potion of immortality wasn't meant to be a sign that you know like just just live on and just do whatever uh, he should have kept it and then. You know, try to live as long as possible for her to be able to come back to Earth to so they can be together again. And then uh, I thought that was a pretty uh, alpha way of thinking uh, of, of the of the story. But uh, yeah, I just I really liked the, the the first part of this this episode. I thought it was pretty pretty nice. For once, the the guy actually uh, gets a pretty big hit off unintentionally. Hey man, win to win, man. Like, yeah, you just cringe <laughs> super hard the day after. Is that, yeah. is, that, is that your next pickup technique right there? Your stargazing party? Well, I'd have to actually know shit about this first. Um, just, just be I guess passionate. I can just make up. Just be it. passionate. Just like, just like Shiro Gane. Yeah, then to be honest, um, I guess I could do it as well. But with the amount of confidence that he had and the, and the ambition and the, like, the sincerity of just wanting to let other people be a part of your like your hobby or your your interest, I I don't know if I could ever do that. Like he he's too he's too much a uh, of a chat for me. I guess I can say I yeah. can't compare. Yeah. So that was that was the first half of the episode. Right? That was pretty. Dude, way to throw Chad under the bus. I'm sorry. I'll let you guys continue. Wait, what? Yeah. We... No, Chad is a good thing. It, it's a good thing. Oh, it means... my bad. That's what I meant. Yeah. It means you're you're down. I'm on top of this. Mail. I've been here the entire time. Yeah. Yes. Well, coming from a beta, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. Get you're your alpha as fuck, all right. You're, you're better than Tyler. It, it's okay. I uh, wouldn't say go that far. I would assume, I, I would just, think Brian's closer to you. Look, like, you want a compliment or what? Yeah, Brian, right? Brian has some ang- anger issues, man. All right. Well, while you guys deal with that, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, like, like I said, uh, it's like no disrespect to the guy. I think uh, the president was was spot on this first half. So, yeah, so it was, it was very that was very funny. Um, it was better for me because I, I actually understood the Japanese preferences. So, and then, um, second half was like, man, that was super weird because, like, they they threw like the they just do the fact, like, oh, the student council is gonna be disbanded. I'm like, wait, what? What's going on here? And then they just kept like packing everything up. I was like, like why are they like, I then I kind of, I kind of got the got through it like okay i guess he doesn't want because i thought they were second years and i thought like usually it's supposed to be a graduation thing but i guess like president want to be president during his third year uh yeah so i guess at that school it's a yearly thing the president changes but everyone else is the same no i think it's like uh, you have to well i guess like you still like elect every year so no, no, it's it's because you only do it for one year to get that recommendation from the the council, or whatever, to go to any university you want. And then after you do it for one year, you get that recommendation. There's really no point for you to oh, continue yeah, no to point. work as hard, right? Yeah. So they they hold elections for another president to be elected and whatnot. But I think it's just like I completely forgot about it. But uh, they do showcase like new characters that they're going to introduce into the show, and I guess they need to do this to set up for the next. Uh, uh, the next people that's going to part, which I guess is like the, like that brown haired girl that showed up at the end of the episode. Oh yeah, but um, just like just I don't know, just everything that happened that second half, I was just so baited. I'm like, what is going on here? Like, why is this like feels like it was a season like a season finale, the way they're ending, and then like and just like dragging on like like the president like walking Kaguya and how Kaguya even he, she she couldn't even say his name because she she only knew him as president. 
or yeah. more like she was just too shy like just i don't know the formality well, yeah. of well, it well yeah she like because oh. she only called him president she never called him by his actual name so yeah and then like it's been so long since i've seen the first season i i i guess i'm not paying too much attention to the timeline but i thought that maybe it was the end of the year we just didn't know or they fast uh, forward and it's just like uh, a peek into the future but uh, yeah, I really thought that for some reason this this series was going to end at three episodes, and this was the last episode for some reason. I don't know, like it was weird, but like I I just because uh, I kept getting confused, I I kept thinking to myself this is bait because like I knew it wasn't it was like you know a third episode, so I knew something had to happen because I knew the manga was so ongoing, so I knew like this wasn't the end. So I just didn't know which direction it was going to go. I thought like are they actually going to end student council and they're going to do something else or what? So right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, but then, like I said, the, the whole pacing of it wasn't that bad. Like, you get to see, like, I just, like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm liking the guy. She got me more and more with the, the more I hear him. And then, like, the way that he, he quarrels with Chica, I just think it's pretty cute. And then I, I, I totally think that they should hook up. Like, I ship totally Ishigami and Chica together. Yeah. I just feel bad for Ishigami just because he's always, like, getting screwed over or he's, like, he ends up, like, like on the misunderstanding side like between like on the student council president or or the student council like like he and he still misunderstands kaguya he still thinks she hates him so just feel yeah. bad for the guy even though actually i don't know well even though like he he's the one that has to call out shika which is pretty funny too yeah i don't know i feel like i relate more to him when i was a high school student so <laughs> i Maybe maybe that's why. Just yeah, just his personality is so relatable. Just because he I skipped guess. out to play games, and all his knowledge of relationships are from dating Sims. I like his fashion statement too. Just the fact that he's always wearing headphones. <laughs> I think that's that's a pretty cool fashion statement. So yeah, actually, I, actually, knows like in anime, it's not really the guys that usually wear headphones. It's like more the girls. But maybe it's just the anime we watch. Um, the only other character I can think of would be uh, Yo from Shaman Kings. I think he always wore headphones as well. But I think, yeah, those are the only two characters that I remember ever just uh, were having headphones. Well, like in headphones. manga, like a lot of times it's like the girls wearing headphones. So, mm, but yeah, like, true. yeah. The only thing is like, I hope they they keep co- the comedy in the elections. Like, because it was mainly like the, it's mainly the romance, like trying to do like the romance battles between Kaguya and, and Shirogane. I, I, I hope like, I don't know how they're going to keep the comedy with, with just like with other people going on. Uh, I think this is actually a nice touch, like to kind of keep it fresh. They're just going to add like a couple more characters to the cast and then just kind of like support the feud between Kaguya and uh, the president. So I, I think it's fine. I actually enjoy, like, like I said, it threw me for a twist, but after kind of realizing what's going on and what they're setting up for the next couple of arcs, I, I think this is totally fine. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah, just. But I think, yeah, I think it's going to be it for Kaguya Sama. It's hard to talk about the show, but still really enjoying it so far. Still, really, yeah, it's a really good show. Really good comedy, like, like, yeah. Like, Brent, I, I think you would totally enjoy it. Uh, I think Taylor, once she catches up, she'll really like it too. But yeah, it's 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 just a really nice, uh, funny kickback. Enjoy Man, this show, is just like so. the battle of the anime recommendations. <laughs> Everyone's trying to recommend each other's yeah, anime. <laughs> you guys just can't let, let each other just live in peace. Yeah, and then I usually hate stuff where it's kind of being like, I guess, would you consider it mainstream now? Because like oh, everyone's it's watching pretty mainstream. It. Like a lot the, of people the first season yeah. was pretty mainstream. I'm pretty sure the first season was the most popular, like when it first came out. Either that or like Promise Neverland. Like those two were definitely the two most popular shows during that season. Yeah, I usually hate stuff that's like like mainstream and it's like totally Fucking hipster out. Right, you know, like totally outplayed, being hipster like, and like you're like if you're associated with them, you're kind of seen as like a, like a, what's the word? Normie. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, um, I, don't, I, I actually, don't know. Yeah, I, I I enjoy it, but I I just don't like to be affiliated with that group, you know. Usually, so yeah, but yeah, I would I would I would say watch. So it I know it's, it. it's I know it's popular here. I'm pretty sure it's also it's super when the first season came out, it was super popular in Japan. Like there was like, um. Yeah, merchandise everywhere for Kaguya-sama, and then um, I know that um, recently, like the the Chinese streaming site BBBB, like it had like a huge number of views, like like sixteen million views for like this series so far. 
So and I think it's like it's like their most popular show for China. I don't know what shows get into China because a lot of it, there's a lot of animes are banned or censored. Mm, but like, okay. but this show is like I think it's like the most popular show in China, in or at least for Bili Bili, the Chinese anime streaming site right now. Which, by the way, has a league team in LPL. They own an LPL team. So there's a, there's a there's a League of Legends team that's sponsored by anime. Hell yeah. I hope they make that League of Legends anime too. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. More, it's more like it's like reality. a big Chinese anime than it, Chinese. Are, well, Dude, I'll still watch it. Well, a, a lot, a lot of the, uh, the the anim- animation stuff were made by a Korean studio actually. But if anything, like Dude. if anything, it'd be like a Chinese studio that picks up the League of Legends. Anything League of Legends. Yeah, quick thought. You or you guys, quick th- quick thoughts. Actually, a couple. Qu- actually, I'll wait till the end of the, the 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 podcast for these questions. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. So. um but yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that's that's it that's for Kaguya, gonna be it. though. Yeah, that's gonna be it for Kaguya Summer, and then, um, yeah. So where are we next? Uh, Strand, did you want to talk about Kakushi Goto or? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we can actually talk about it. Or uh, actually, or yeah, well, we'll go Strand. Yeah, I mean, it'll be quick. No, you go uh, Strand. Yeah. Okay. That's not too quick. Can... You can take as long as you want. Yeah, well, it's 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 a tough show to talk about. It's more of like it's it's really slice of life. Um, it has like one kind of like story element to it, and uh, other than that, it's basically just you know a dad and a daughter. You know, I wish there's more than that, Trent. Yeah, Taylor, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Horrible. Back, Back me up. Back me up. Uh. Threaten likes it. I feel more than what that description was. And I do. I, feel I, I like it less than that description. This last episode, um, there was a there was a couple of points that I teared up. It was it was a uh, it was touching moments. Yeah, I would actually agree with that. I <laughs> I like the humor in the show is. I think I've said this before. It's really hit or miss for me. Like it's ninety percent miss, I, and then the ten percent that hits is is pretty good. I think the reason, um, like, why those parts hit for comedy is just because the the, the dude that plays Yato's voice is so good at comedy. Like, his voice is perfect for comedy. You mean, you mean, <laughs> He's um, so amazing. I don't know his name. The main character's name from... Kamiya Hiroshi. Yeah, there you well, go. Oh, say, like, the guy from Nurogami and yeah. Bakemon Katari. Yep. Tanjiro is in there, uh, or the voice of Tanjiro as well is in there. But he doesn't actually... But the person he plays is, is kind of like a monotone dude. So it's just like yeah. it's it's so just like in that sense, like just like hearing what you know who Tanjiro is, like it's just funny in itself just to hear him just talk monotone like like a monotone shut in. But Pretty in good. this episode, he gets um, under the spell of a fortune teller. Oh sort god! Of, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. and that was pretty cute. He did a really good job with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's alright. I, I I also got a little bit of emotion emotional because you know the mom is gone moved on passed on and so whenever like they're really good at referencing it without like purposely just trying to make you feel bad i can't, I can't think of that term but like where they are just baiting you to feel bad and it feels like they're forcing it it's really organic and it actually makes it work a lot better yeah uh this episode david brian and our cool whoever watched the, uh violet evergarden basically the mom in this like set up boxes for her age as well based where she's supposed to open up the box at a specific oh. age i'm thinking oh god i was like god damn so, like, the, the, the letter from my <laughs> yeah. okay yeah but but basically yeah these boxes where, where where she only opens them up like when she hits that age and it's supposed it's basically has like you know out of stuff uh you know that's supposed to be for like someone at that age even though we found out at this episode that you know she gets she gets some clothes but it's out of date but it's basically she doesn't care because it's like from her parents oh it's good yeah yeah <laughs> uh yeah i don't know i think that's really i don't know all i've got <laughs> um i'm just gonna mention that like it's so because there's a manga series it's by the the manga author of um sayonara zetsubun sensei so like i've had the english yeah. title but it's something like like by like despair sensei or whatever so that was already that's it's kind of popular like for some people like not super, super mainstream but i know like in like the anime community was pretty popular during the time i'm i'm because it's basically because when they flash forward when she when she turns 18 because it, it shows that she does actually find out that what like what her dad uh what her dad's work was um but the thing is we haven't seen him during this time yet like we don't like i don't know what happened to the guy I, I'm, I'm i'm like thinking please god don't let it be like one of those where she ends up just losing both parents again like it's just i mean not again but it's just like so many anime have this type, this thing it's just like 
Just let it be happy. Just give me my slice of life comedy. To be honest, like, I really don't think that's what it is. I, like, I don't know. I feel like it would work really well. I've thought about this a fair amount. Is if they, like, lead you into this big dramatic thing. They make it seem like a big deal. Like, she's gonna finally find out that he was, like, a, a manga author. Or a manga guy, you know what I mean? And, yeah. like, that's all it is. And he's just devastated because she doesn't give a shit at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why did you spend inordinate amounts of time obsessing over this when it doesn't matter? And I feel like that would be like oh, the she, way for the show to end. She she definitely has the personality. She does not care what her dad does. Not even a uh, little bit. Yeah. So I mean she just thinks he's like perfect no matter what. Yep. So yep. that's what I feel like it's gonna do. I feel like they already had the heavy hitting heavy hitting thing with the mom being dead. Yeah, and then basically and the box is all set up uh you know, by her uh by her mom too. Yeah. Cause you know, you know, you know, he didn't do that. Even though I, but he did do the boxes. I'm, I'm like 18 plus. Mm-hmm. Um, cause they were in the other place. I mean, I was also thinking too that, let's say like she received a key, or uh, or something like on her 18th birthday, from her dad, and basically like he's just too, he's he's he, he basically he just is like you're old enough to know, and he's he's like so, um, like he's so down about it that he's just like away. He he couldn't be around it. Like when she finds out. <laughs> I can easily because just like his personality as well is like the same thing. It's like, oh god, she's never gonna talk to me again. But she needs to know. Actually, another funny thing that would happen too is she said she got the key from her dad, but we don't actually see him physically hand it, handing it to her. I think it'd be kind of funny if it was actually one of his colleagues. That's <laughs> like, I've had enough of this guy's shit. Damn you, Tanjiro! <laughs> Damn you! You know it'd be him. Well. I, I blame him already, and I have no clue what's happening. <laughs> <clears throat> um. That, that's where I feel like it's going because it, that's also like it's just a good like, light-hearted ending for you know a short one-off season. Yeah, yeah. People were saying like you know like in comments like when you like watch the like, YouTube like or the opening because that opening is I think it's better than uh than uh, Tower of God opening this season. Um, but it, <laughs> well, I think it, it's really good. But it, it's uh but it's the people in the comments where they're they're saying it's it's supposed to be just like a, like a really nice slice of life show. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, but the, and then the other half of the comments are like, "Where are the dead? Where's the dad?" I was like, "Yeah, man, <laughs> answer these people. Where's the dad?" And nobody answers these people. Because it's a YouTube channel. You think like, the authors got come here and answer? Her? No, 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 not the author. But no, but but it's like it was a manga or a light novel or something. Because people manga. were were just con- okay. People were confirming and they were just saying that this is a nice, lighthearted show. And then, like I said, the other people oh, are that's, saying that's spoilers. Is then the why don't you ask for spoilers? Dude, because I want to know. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> I was telling Stratton there needs to be an anime version of Does the Dog Die? Die? Where you can just look this Dude. stuff up and avoid it if there's yeah, a not dog even... or a cat or a human that dies. Okay, not even just animals, but like, does the parent <laughs> die? Like, it basically, it's just like for everything, just in general. So I know what I'm getting into wow. if I should continue this because my heart can't take it, dude. Wow. It can't take it. Spoilers. Uh, you know, if you were to watch Kaguya sama, it would cheer you up, sir. Just saying. Nice plug. All right. Thanks. I try. Yeah, anything else for Kagushi Goto? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Cause it's there's cause really the only thing that the show leaves you off on because it, it just seems like every episode is just some ridiculous thing that ends up happening. But this ends up having like you know teary moments that's you know funny and also touching. Um, it, it's basically it's just le- leading up to her, you know, just like finding out that well at this point she already she like we we saw that she has seen the like the like the manga the artwork and stuff that he does and then she even says like oh this is what he's been doing but they haven't got gone any further into that so it's more of like they're just kind of showing a bit every episode and then yeah that's really that's 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 really it oh that i don't know if i, I mean, asked about animation what do you think of it it's different it's definitely way different um do you know the studio I don't, okay. but the animation is definitely not for a, for an action show. It's definitely it has the slice of life vibes where it's just like, uh, it's it's. Well, Stratton, it's a slice of life show. It doesn't need a. Like, that's my point. Animation. That's why I'm fine with it. That's why. But I remember oh. even you were mentioning like that that the artwork is like it looks different. It it, it reminds me like the background like it kind of has like the, it's like the watercolor animation oh. in some scenes. So a lot of anime has like the the watercolor yeah. look. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's not even the part that looks bad. Just the character models. Oh, they, they don't. Well, look... No, I like the watercolor look, but okay, yeah, yeah, watercolor look is nice. It's just like the character models. It just looks like it just looks different. Uh, it's I don't know, I mean, but it, it's perfectly fine for slice of life. Yeah. There's no issues. I would, I would actually say 
I, it's grown on me. I would say that I like the animation. I mean, there are parts of it, like, like Tretton said, the character might be a little bit off, but in general, I would say I like it. During the more, like, artistic scenes, I think it looks downright nice. And also, Hime, the, the daughter, is so freaking cute. I mean, like, one of the top ten cutest little kids in any anime. I'm calling yeah. it here. Are they, like, yeah, she's, are they like yeah, she's really... five or, like, seven or ten or... Uh, how old is she? Ten? I think I, I swear she just opened up like her her ten year old box, wasn't yeah, it? She's like ten. I thought it was her thirteen year old box. Oh god, I don't remember. She's she's younger. I, 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 I'm I, pretty I sure it's gotta be ten. 10. I think thirteen. Yeah, cause like, I think because be, be, yeah, yeah, because ten was the I think the f- first box her mom made, or maybe it was eight. I can't remember. Um, I don't know. she's young. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't think she's. It sounds like from the show. It sounds like she's not thirteen. It sounds like she like, still be like. In elementary school age, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. She's yeah, she's elementary because yeah, she's elementary because she does have the elementary outfit, hmm. um, the little yellow hat, and yeah. then uh, that's the little backpack and boots. That's all I know. Backpack is called. <laughs> uh, well, backpack is a backpack. Baby. It's called like a ra- ran doll sort of something like some ram Japanese <clears throat> where they borrowed from Dutch. So, a- aka backpack. <laughs> Super expensive, I got you, David. super expensive I got you. backpack too. It's like five hundred dollars yeah. or something. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. And the parents have to buy it. Yeah, yeah. Rip. <laughs> Only for elementary school too. Not worth. Yep. Oh, and one more thing about the animation too. Sorry, I'm gonna just end that. Um, if you like listen closely and squint your eyes, if you're a fan of Noragami, it can feel like it's grown up Yato. Oh, it really seems like yeah, it's it's, it's totally. It's exactly what, like, if Yato was a dad, that is exactly what the character is. Like, no, squint your eyes and okay. I, I honestly, I would, I wouldn't say squint. I would say just close your eyes and just listen to some of his I mean, like rants and stuff. That's just Legit, the voice you actor. Would think then. Was an yeah, that's just that voice actor then. Yeah, but he plays that part so well. It's so good. And he looks a little bit like him too, Stratton. He He's does. Really yeah, he does. Yeah. He's got the same hair. I mean, like... black hair. Blue eyes, same same stuff. I Just mean, a little, but like, but he he only shows one one eye. He's a little bit more edgy looking, but well, he's, he's got definitely not edgy hair. at all. What's up? And he's got some facial hair. Oh yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> if Yato was grown up, he'd have facial hair too. I mean, he's always been an over top character. Like yeah, he has been. Like, it's and he plays those parts like very in well. Haragami and Bakimaru Katari and uh, uh, Arakawa on the bridge. Like oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah. Arakawa, yeah. It, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think I'm good. Um, it's it's definitely, like, if you're looking for, like, a slice of life comedy show, give it, and the, like, touching moments, give it a shot. It's, it's, uh, it's really good. It's really relaxing, and it'll give you a laugh. All right. So that's going to be it for um, Kakushi Goto. And then um, we're going to move next to Sing Yesterday for me. Um, I think, I don't remember if we... I don't remember if last... I think last week's episode was when... Did we introduce the show? Because it was like the first yeah. time... Okay, so I guess I have to, we have to reintroduce it again. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Alright, so... You want to take the uh, honors, too? Oh, God. All well, four episodes. Um, you need the first three, and then we can talk about the fir- fourth one. Here, or I can take over the fourth one, or whatever. Jeez. Okay. Um, so this show is about a guy... His name is Rukuo, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's about a guy who uh, graduated from college, but um, I, I guess this place just, just took, uh, this series is taking place in like what, early 2000s? I'd say 90s. 90s. Uh, and he's kind of just like a floater. He's just, he doesn't really have anything going for him. He graduated from college and then he just works at a convenience store and um, he's kind of just letting life around him just like, fly by uh he doesn't know what to do in his life he's just unsure of everything and then eventually he meets this girl named haru who's like a 18 year old girl uh that also dropped out of school yeah she dropped out of school yep and then uh, for some reason uh like haru and riku were met like three or four years prior uh but it was like a a, a slight interaction that they had five years before yeah yeah and then for some reason she's like head over heels for this guy, but she doesn't really know why. But she she does um, pursue him, and then uh, little does she know, uh, Rikuo 
has a a crush that he had from college but when she graduated she went and became a teacher and they kind of lost touch for a while uh, but then she was able to get a teaching position at a uh, school nearby and then they they kind of reunited they talk about it and um, they try to be friends but due to past trauma that she's had with someone else she's not able to see Riku as a, yeah. a love interest yeah her, her name's uh, Shinako by the way Shinako yeah so yeah, maybe I should have planned this out better. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, so basically, this the premise of the show is uh, basically about everyone trying to deal with their past, right? Uh, you got Riku, the MC, trying to just um, pick up his life and figure out what to do from here. Uh, you got Shinako trying to move on from the past and look towards the future. Uh, you got Haru trying to figure out what she wants to do in her life and you know get rid of the fear of trying to get close with people before she gets hurt in the process. And then um, there's also a fourth guy that's yep. kind of like uh, part of the main cast. Yep. His name was Ro. Yep. Yeah, he was actually the um, he's he is Shinako's love interest, the younger brother. So uh, him and Shinako are actually uh, like longtime childhood friends as well, in a sense. But uh, he is also around the same age as Haru, so like high schooler. Um, so there is that that big age gap. But, you know, he does have feelings for her and he's declared himself a rival to Riku as uh, Shinako's love interest. So it's kind of like a weird love square square yeah. thing. Yeah. But the only one that really has a chance would probably be Haru at this point. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere else. And judging from the, the latest episodes or the, the latest episode, which is episode four, um Ro is starting to I would say he's going to start to develop feelings for Haro too. So kind of unsure as to where this story is gonna go at this point. So like I'll just say like Haru is still like the fan favorite. So and mainly because like most of the focus has been on her too, but like um uh, some more I also just mentioned too that um because the brother died the brother that um Shinako was interested in, he died in high school. And so that was before she met um, Riku in college, and then she went back to back to her hometown for a little bit because she was still she well she's still not over her bro- the brother's death after like six years or whatever. So that's like my one kind of like my complaint against her. Like I know it's hard. I I know I, I understand she's griefing, but like it's it's really holding her back, and like she really like needs to find some way to like um move move on that because like it's. It's holding back her relationship with everyone, so. Right, but again, everyone, like, all, all the characters of the main cast, they all have some kind of uh, uh, baggage that they're trying to yeah. overcome, right? Everyone's got issues that they're trying to overcome, yeah. so that's just her. And unfortunately, um, I'm kind of split on it as well. Like, it's been so long that you would expect her to move on. But I guess since it was her first love or she spent all the time taking care of him, it's just going to take her a little bit longer yeah. to get over it. I mean, so, and then this this episode, it focused more on Ro. Like, the episode spotlight on him. And, like, I just felt bad for him because, like, because every time when she, that first part when he, like, when she was, he was helping her wash the dishes, she kept saying, oh, you're just like your brother. Oh, you're also like your brother. You do that like your brother. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, that, yeah, I, I, I felt gonna... so bad for her. Because, like, even if he, like, wasn't in love with her, she, like, she was still comparing him to his older brother. And, like, like he's trying so hard to be his own person. Like, even, like, about all the, lo- all the love interest stuff, he's trying so hard to be his own person and not be his brother's shadow. And she's just, like, constantly bringing him up. So I just, I felt more bad for the guy. Even though, like, I, yeah, and I, yeah, go ahead. And, and uh, apparently he has a brother complex. That's why he's constantly drawing. Like, he doesn't uh, even uh, know if he wants to do it. It's called but... inferior complex. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brother so complex is when complex, you're in love with your he's... brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh... <laughs> I should, yeah. I should if you're a complex is like when you you, you think... Can, you can totally tell him I, I'm, I know what I'm yes. doing. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, same, yeah. same. So he's always been compared to his brother, and it was the only way for him to stand out was drawing. And from the looks of it, he's not that great. But because of a small achievement that he had when he was a child, he won like a, a local contest oh, with God. his... What well, is one drawing that he had, and that was the only time that he's ever stood out. So he just used that as a way to constantly 
uh, stand out to others uh, to let him know that he's his own person. Uh, but I think he's kind of getting to the part where he's kind of um, he's, like at a point in his life where he's just bored or his no, he's, like he's not able to progress any further. It's it's a sad it's like the sad relatable thing where where you're the big fish in the small pond where um yet yeah, you were talented in your own area but then once he moved to Tokyo and he's in this competitive art school and he's with like other talented people and he realized he's actually not as, like the one thing that he was good at he places his identity into and then he realizes that he's actually not as good as that like, yeah like he's just a par honestly so well that's I felt more ba- I felt bad for him too that way because like that's super relatable we're like we're like it's it's like you know the high school valedictorian and then going off to college and then realizing that you're actually not as good as you think you are. So, uh, being a, a, a dumbass that I was, I, I, I wouldn't know. Well, or like, <laughs> you know, like, like the League of Legends term, like being like TSM, like being the best in your region, then always losing international, international competition. Being NA in general. NA, yeah. So, well, I mean, but yeah. I use TSM as an example because, like, because they, if you, if you're in like your own region, you do well. But then, like you realize, you're just the big fish in a small pond. So. Yeah. So basically, reality check. You know. It, so I just. I get. I feel more bad. Really hard. I, I, I guess before this episode, I didn't really care about Ro. I just thought of him as like just someone who's also like, like he just, um, someone who also needs to move on because like she, she's clearly like he's in love with someone who's clearly not over her baggage, so he needs to like move on from her. But like. I felt more sympathy for him in this episode, just because, like, just because she's not making it better for him. Like, like she's just like, just the way she, she's just unconsciously just like ragging him on, and so. But I think that I think that just gives like more reason for him to move on past her, just because like she'll never see him as just more than a little brother, and like, and he's he's not mature enough to deal with her baggage. That's that's what I was like, kind of like talking about last episode. But like, yeah, I just think like. He's not a good fit for her, really, because he's not mature enough. To I mean, to be honest, though, like everyone deals or everyone griefs differently. Um, so I can kind of feel more for Shinako than I would for Roll. Roll seems just kind of like a, a stuck up, entitled person. Uh, and like you mentioned, he's really young. He's not able to handle the baggage that that she comes with. Yeah. So if you're not able to handle that, how are you able to really deal for like with her feelings, her emotions? Um, like you just don't have that mature mind state. To, to be in a dot relationship so um i don't know what he's hoping to achieve but even if he were to get it he'll probably just be like in over in his head i mean um yeah that's why i don't that's why i don't i don't pair, i don't ship him together with chinako like yeah i just i still feel bad for him but i definitely don't pair him i just don't think he's mature enough no i i think he has what we call first world problems <laughs> like they're not really problems he's just i feel like he's just like i said very childlike he's given up too easily um Apparently he skipped like the first year of art cram school and he's in the second year now or the more advanced class. And then like you mentioned, you know, he thought that he was great, but it actually he's just subpar compared to these other artists that yeah. has spent so much time and effort into um like polishing their skills. So Well at least he's he's struggling, but at least he he admits it he's not being arrogant about like he's not like he's not being pissy about being like like being behind than he thought he was he's i think he's trying he's putting his effort to trying like when he's going to his art classes he's like even though he's struggling he's i think he's still trying to like to to like just prove himself so i don't see him too harshly or i don't i don't like like think of him that badly but i do i just think i do think that yeah he needs to get move on from shinako and so um yeah i mean sure. i guess like haru would be like, be like the better like for him if he had to pick even though like because this is the anime and you don't have any other any other choices bro there's plenty of choices those the girl that uh that's in the same class as him yeah. and those that yeah there's one plenty of other girls they don't get drinking. they don't get the spotlights you yeah. can't you, as an audience you can't ship them together so not 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 yet it's only episode but, four right there, there's other possibilities but yeah but, i don't know, I but, mean, but I mean, I don't know. I, I still think someone's gonna die. There's, there's that, <laughs> that, 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 that cliche of there's that, there's that white very had to. truck that's constantly, yeah, someone's constantly driving around with that white truck, and people are constantly stopping in the middle of the street. Like, there, there's a death flag <laughs> just waiting to be triggered somewhere in this episode. And then oh I, God, I hope it's not. I hope it's not like it better not be Riku like getting like injured 
and hospitalized, and then Shinako realizes, oh, someone else might die. I have to let go of my past and face what's no, I, from me. I already hate when that happens. I hate that. I, like, I I hate it, and I hate myself for thinking it, but I think if anyone out of the four is, is going to have a like, a like a death uh, happen to them, it's, it's going to be hard, I think, <laughs> just because of... Just because of how everything's kind of, I wouldn't say like it's it's kind of revolving around her, but uh, I feel like she's going to be the, the the main thing that that once she once she dies or once she disappears, like everyone's going to have like their revelation and then like do a complete one eighty and just be able to move on and uh, just figure out what they were missing in their life. I don't, I don't think there's gonna be any more deaths, so I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't think there's any more deaths. I think. But because I, I I don't see Haru and Roll like together like getting together in this in the series and um I feel like if if Haru is still there I don't think there's any way that uh, Shinako and Riku is going to get together like someone has to go like either move away or, well, they, or they have, have to die. die no 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 Def Def is <laughs> Def is the only way <laughs> I can kind of see um girl um falling for um Haru just because like when he saw the crow I can. I'm just gonna guess he's gonna like be inspired by that and then draw like the her and the crow as his as his drawing. So I can see it going that way. I don't know how hard it was gonna fall for him. I don't really see how like what good points he has to show in front of her because he's just been like he yeah he's just just immature in general. So I don't see why she would fall for him compared to Recool or or I mean, uh, or be like he'd be like he'd be like the backup compared to Recool. So. Yeah, like in all honesty, I feel like he has a better chance of being with Shinako than he does with Haru, just because I guess they're like, even though she only sees him as a kid brother, like, um, you know, once he gets older and he's become more mature, and say you Shinako look just never like your does brother. Anything. Yeah, you know, like maybe you know, maybe something will snap and she'll just get with him. But almost, like, your brother is one seventy centimeters. You'll be tall, a little bit taller than him, and just a little bit. Yeah, like I've seen enough animated in Hollywood. Oh, hey, you wash ago, your dishes right? just like your brother. <laughs> No, but I think they have a better chance than him and Haru because with, with him and Haru, I feel it's completely one-sided as well. Like, she only has eyes for Riku. And then uh, that one scene that you mentioned where he saw the crow fly towards yeah. Haru, like, he didn't really... You know, like, he wasn't really astounded. He was just like, wow, she's really weird. And he just walks away. I think, so, I think I don't that's think just there's... like the, the starting point, like the spark. I think he, he's, he's going to be inspired by... I think later on he will... Uh, no, I, I don't think so. But, but I don't. I didn't really care much for this episode because I I don't really like like I said I don't really like uh, a role. Just yeah, just his character and his he's, personality. He's still like but, he's still I mean, like my least favorite. But I feel I I don't I dislike him less. Just like I sympathize him more. If anything, this episode just maybe not like Shinako as much. Just because like I just felt I did not I like I just felt it maybe felt more bad for Ro that like he was just getting ragged on by Shinako for being compared to her, his brother so like yeah it just made me I mean, but it just she, it just made me like shinako less like just she's just dragging down her relationships with her baggage so i mean but to be fair when you when you're grieving about a loved one i mean like i said she sees him as a kid brother who else are you gonna like talk to about this and <sighs> like kind of share your feelings because even even uh like their father is able to yeah yeah even the dad like, is, is, is able, like he's able to move on so but I don't know. No, he's having issues too. That's why he's going to try to rent out the house. But like and he, he saved all their belongings of the, of, of the older brother, and they're like, you know, like maybe it's time to finally move on, and then he gives her everything. Yeah, like, but like the the whole like putting everything in the box, like I think that was just the symbol of like the dad was finally ready to move on. So, like I don't know, it's just right. I, right. I'm just. But having... then what I'm saying is like he's taking just as long as as Shinako to to get over the death of of his son. Uh... So it's not fair to say that Shinako is taking too long to get over like someone's death. I guess like we don't really see the dad's point of view, so it's hard to say. But it's just, yeah. The only other thing is that like, mm, I kind of wish that like, because this is like a story, that, like, so it has to like, so like it has to be you just need like, I don't know, drama. Not not really drama. But it's like. This would be the situation where, like, you would, like, uh, Rico, he would be the good friend and help support, support her, like, griefing, because she still, like, has trouble. So, like, so, and she doesn't seem like she has, 
She has barely any other friends besides her, her work colleagues or her coworkers. So, like, but I guess she doesn't really have anyone to talk about, like, her past like that. So, I guess, like, I was hoping that, like, that Rico would be, like, the support that she would need. And then he would, in a good relationship, he would move on to someone else and he'd just be there as a good friend. But because it's an anime, they have to, like, make it your no. back. Like, no, I can't be your no, friend because I'm so loving you. So. Yeah, Rico keeps it real, right? He can't lie to himself like that. He's an honest, in, he's an honest in man. In real life, okay. you should be a good supporter friend and like help someone. Who, if they're really grieving like that, then yes, help them. And, uh, and maybe don't if use, he knew about it. Don't, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, he, he still found out, so like... Yeah, but like, it's a little bit too late. You've already developed feelings for this person. You move on. And, you, you, right, you, don't, you move you don't, on. You, but don't, at, you, you don't fall for the person as baggage. What I mean, I'm not saying that that you shouldn't, but I'm saying there's nothing really wrong for you either. I'm saying you shouldn't, right? I mean, I mean, so, sometimes people need help, you know. But again, because of their like past relationship and the history of each other, I I don't see any way he can just be friends with her and then not develop any uh like romantic feeling towards her. And then I think he's doing it just right. Like he he played it just right. Like you know, I I can't be friends with I you because no matter what. Eventually, I'm just gonna start doing things with. Like, I guess, intent. yeah. He, it, I don't. I guess I. Can't, I can't blame him for doing that. I just like in this story, like, yeah, like, it seems like she has no other like emotional support. So, like, I don't know, like. Yeah, again, that that's, that's on her. That's but, on her. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. It, so it's but really again it's just, with the whole grief thing. Yeah, it's, it's like just, I, I don't really blame her for taking this long to get. Over. I guess. I don't know. I guess I am. I have to be the one that that, that judges her then, because I just think it's just dragging out the relationship. So that's yeah. just my take. Yeah. Sounds like a great <laughs> anime, guys. Bro, this it, it hits you so deep. At first, you just think it's about some some stupid high school dropout who who's weird and has crows as pets. Like fall for this one random loser that works at a convenience store, and it's gonna be all lovey dovey, slice of life. And then like by episode three. Two, three. The white truck comes in. Yeah, the white truck comes in, and you just like, oh man, this shit, this is some deep <laughs> shit. Mean, something is going to happen. I'm telling you, shit. that white truck always symbolizes that someone's going to die. <laughs> I mean, I'm just enjoying this because, like, it's yeah, it's slower pace and it's more, more grounded, more down, down to earth. It's, it's a nice like break from like all like the, the rom coms where it's like more over the top and dramatic. Now we're not dramatic, but like, ridiculous. So it's nice having like more more yeah grounded it's like it's almost like a drama mostly than an anime so that's why yeah i'd say so that's why i'm enjoying it just like it's like people actually talk like normal people and like you know like they talk a little slower and like it's more relaxed so it's nice watching it this this is more i mean i wouldn't say slice of life but this is more realistic so it's nice um yeah, I guess if anything, I would compare it to uh, like a soap opera, you know, like like Days of Our Lives, I guess. <laughs> or uh, like a sure. drama, yeah. yeah. So, or but drama. I'm just yeah. really, I'm really enjoying it, and like, it's nice to watch it week to week. I don't know, like, actually, no, I guess I'm, I mean, I marathon the first three episodes, and I was pretty hooked by the second episode. So, I don't think it would be a bad series to binge watch either. But I definitely um, don't think again... it's, it's trend show. So I, I would, so. Unlike all the other people here trying to like recommend each other's shows, I'm telling Trent he probably won't like it. Thanks, man. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> I recommend this to Peter though. So, but Peter hasn't any time to watch any anime. But I think this is something that Peter would like. Supposedly during quarantine. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah. There's there's a lot of like psychological and uh well, just, other it, deep. Just it sounds like the thing this. that this the thing that Peter would like that. So I recommend him. So we'll see if he. Watch us it. We'll see if I can get his opinion. Yeah. But man, if Haru dies, oh, I'm going to be think so she's sad. Gonna die. Bro, it's, I have this feeling, man. <laughs> FF at 20. Uh, FF at 20. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's it for this one uh, for me. So. All right. So that's going to be it for Sing Yesterday for me. And then um, we can just go real quick. Um, f- first, Shokugeki, and then just Digimon, just because, like, we, oh, we, didn't have them. we didn't have them last episode. We'll just do it quick. Like, Shokugeki, uh, yeah. like, it's delayed, so it doesn't really matter. And It's just so bad. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. 
So I don't think we even need to talk about it anymore. Yeah. To be honest. All right, I'll just give a quick. I'll quick. I'll do the quick summary. Then you don't have to put your input. Then go for it. So basically, like the blue is just another competition, but we just like skip through like the whole preliminary. So we have the, the three. We have three um, contestants only. It's so Mega Mean got first place for some reason, and then uh-huh. and then Takumi Aldini. Takumi Aldini was second place. And then Soma was third place somehow. They were all off like one point. But like they were just rushing yeah. through this, animation quality was as Strand would put it, JC staff. Um, yeah, quality. It's, it's what you'd expect of JC staff. Expected JC staff, but like it was just re- just bad here, just because like you can tell it they're, just, they're just rushing it, and I it just, wasn't just go ahead. Sorry, I had personal issues with like just the camera. Like I was so sick of that camera pan every single time. It was like it was like a static. It was just like a static image of the the Fugazi, and then. Just, the cameras went crazy painting up and down or left and right and then the worst one was at the end when they did the stupid camera spinning on their face to end the episode to make it dramatic i hate that so much well it's i mean it's not even like well one animation just like poor like uh uh video i don't even know what it's called director stuff it's like i mean it's it's you could tell that this arc was i would i would assume huge in the manga because it's just it's because you're going through like really what really like the entire school, and then you only pick the top three, three. people that go to this and to the this same tournament. Three that we were focusing last arc to. Yeah, and, and it's not even yeah, it's not even just that, but it's just like they didn't even show like a lot of the the other people's cooking. Um, well, there was rushing. So they just, rushed through everyone's. Yeah, they skipped it. I mean, even like when they were explaining the food, they maybe said three different things it was made out of, and then also the another thing too is it's like. It was supposed to be soup. Two of the three <laughs> was not soup. I don't even give a shit. What do you, I will fight people on this. It, it was, is not soup. It was like it was like soup. It had soup inside other stuff like yeah. like meatballs or an stuff egg. In it, yeah. It had liquid in an egg. It had liquid in a meatball. That's the thing that bothered you the most. It, it didn't bother you that they were just reusing assets from the last couple of seasons. Oh, God, I mean, yeah, I know that 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 was annoying too. It's just because it's just like you can't really like. I, I, like after seeing this, it's just like, like he's he's out of ideas. I mean, it's like they're rehashing kind of like the same ideas where they're just like, oh, like let me just send you, serve you this dish of food, but it's like, not, a, but it's not actually food. It's a soup. No, and and then just, like, it feels like they're just half ass and they're just going to half ass this whole season. Well, like it's a project. Oh, it's going to be. It's, it's, it's the double yeah. whammy of yeah. like the off the manga author half ass it, then like and then the animation studio half ass it. So it's just a double whammy. Yeah, it's basically it's the worst studio to half ass. I mean, it, it's like if you already have a half ass work, don't don't give it to JC staff. <laughs> they're gonna make it even worse. I mean, it's so. just like that's how we found out through Damachi, where they just skipped entire arcs. That's, of, and, then that's, just, and then they just threw oh in the God. and then threw in yeah. characters I mean, that are supposed to have that's not that's giant not, parts. That's not Damachi. That's just that's a criticism of JC staff in general. Like yeah, that's my point. Yeah, going all the way back <laughs> to like you don't going back all the way to like the two thousands when they did uh, yeah. Shaka and Oshana, and then they did Index. Like they skipped so much of Index. And then, See, I never watched that. And I don't. I, I don't think JC staff did um, the final season of Index, but the final season rushed so much too, where yeah. it was like six volumes and like. Where like, maybe it's like eight volumes, like in twenty six episodes. I know me and Ku have talked about before, where it's just like like the mobile game has more, <laughs> it has more uh, of a story than the actual damn anime then, itself. I, yeah, don't don't remind me. And I it's, think I think maybe Railgun is also done by JC Staff. Maybe we'll say Railgun probably. is better, but like it's still a spin off compared to like the main series. So, so yeah, the issues with that, and then then <clears> and then yeah, Damachi, and I forgot, I forgot what all the recent shows that. JC staff did just mainly more like novel stuff. The only thing, the only like really thing they adapted really properly was Toradora, but that was like ten years ago, and that's because Toradora was like on its final volume while they were making the anime. Yeah. So that, I mean, yeah. Um, Brian, uh, what, what what point in this episode did you just basically just quit? Like, what, uh, what happened? To you? I don't know. Uh, what's it? Uh, Suzuki Sensei. <laughs> Uh, his, uh, Soma's dad just lost. Oh, so Joe oh. The man literally got blown out, like, yeah. fucking 0 and 5, dude. Like, yeah, we complained about that last week, too. Yeah. This dude is, like, the sh- 
fucking god of culinary arts and he gets blown out of the water 0 and 5. Like, you couldn't even give him, like, one, maybe two wins. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Gotta like, make dramatic. 0 and 5, dude. Like, really? Yeah. That's the most <laughs> du- uh, but yeah, because we, we, we talked about that. <sighs> so, we, we said about it's basically it just blew, you know, blew his dad out of the water. But the but the the thing is also, like, they make the new top 10 look so underwhelming compared to, like, the, to previous, the previous top 10. Yeah. Th- these guys look just like a bunch of bumbling fools. Like, basically, if I just decided to take a cooking class and somehow they just threw me in there, it's I basically just like, not, like, people in the top, like, the current top 10 don't compare to, like, yeah, to, like, Aishi oh, or God. Rindo. So, yeah. like... Like the previous top ten looks so and then also, much like, better, even, more better. If you think about power levels too, it's like Soma still couldn't beat his dad in cooking, and then his dad lost. Now so, you have to expect him to beat the new teacher who beat his dad. It's like, come on. Dude, power levels. Yeah, are apparently. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's supposed to get power, power level. Bad. You thought yeah. power levels and Dragon Ball were bad, dude? This yeah. show is just spitting on that concept of a fucking power level. Dude. Legitimately, like eighty percent of these fucking victories that anybody has is like purely based off fucking bias of the judges. If you, yeah, like, if you suck their dick or not. Like, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, like, like those girls in the jury. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't know. It's uh, apparently like in the next eight episodes. Uh, that's, that's delayed. Uh, the, the, this, yeah, the, yeah, that, yeah. Whenever it comes up, <laughs> Soma's gonna get like a giant power spike apparently, and just like pass his dad by beating this dude. Brian, wait, sorry, you were gonna say something? Ah, dude, I I give up on the show. I already can already tell that they're rushing the fuck out of yeah, it. Final oh, season. Yeah. They they legit are, just want to get it over with and just. Are, that's just JC stuff. I think it's just how they do well, things. I, I honestly don't even know. I still, even with all the problems with JC stuff, I still blame the original manga author. So yeah, I could see that too because it, it sounded like the original manga was actually it was starting to um, fall apart as well. And that and so I may I may blame out. the manga yeah. author for just the, yeah 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 I can see that too. It's like you're basically giving you're giving JC staff like an unfinished work. Don't do that. That's <laughs> a terrible idea. So that's that would, just, that would just make something that's bad worse. Yeah. So yeah, that's all we're gonna say for Soma. Even though I guess like we'll still probably watch it when. The, the oh I, yeah, I'm still gonna finish. Oh yeah, it. No, no, I'm still gonna finish it. I mean, it's like it's like sword art for us. You know, we 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 got this far. We need a shit on it. So it's it's almost over. Like the 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 was it the light at the end of the tunnel? It's right there. Yeah. Sword <laughs> art. No idea. I I don't know where that light is. It's full of booby traps. That's all I know. So Brian, you're, I'm sorry. We were kind of like freaking out, but you're gonna continue. Yeah, I'll probably just finish it, dude. Good man. I'm too far in. God Same. Dude. All right, so that's gonna be it for <laughs> Soma for now, and then um, yeah. just a little bit for um, Digimon Adventure, just because this also got delayed, and we talk- we actually talked about it a lot in the last episode, but um, we did. It was it was one of like the longer parts. Just, I mean, we don't have to go that yeah. long, but just like basically saying, oh like, god, I'm not doing it again. Just like <laughs> yeah, how, yeah, if, if, like what we ranted, we ranted for like what 20, 30 20 minutes, minutes? Yeah, forever. So, yeah. so basically, and how like we waited to the end and ranted even more about the games. Yeah. So basically how, like, apparently in the first three episodes, why they're so weird is because I think it was part of, like, the War Games film. I guess they're trying to make that more canon and more with, like, the, the story. So then this step, so they finally, like, at the end, they finally, or, you yeah, know, all of them finally get, get isekai into the digital world where it's actually, like, an actual, like, other world. Thank where, God. Where they're going to walk around. So instead of, like, the weird Mega Man Battle Network environment Battle Network. before, they're that digital world whatever so i actually did like battle network but we'll, we'll talk about that later so yeah another time <laughs> so and then the like, games at least yeah and and then this episode like they actually they went to the summer camp but they didn't get sucked into the world from the summer camp unlike the original so but like let's keep that but they, they still like they still got like like warped into the other worlds by like the digi the digivices and then um, it showed. I'm pretty sure they, like all of them did because it showed all eight, and then the preview showed it was like the amount of Sora. So, uh, <laughs> and Johan's just getting getting traumatized. <laughs> Digimon's an isekai. <laughs> so, oh, luckily, dude, yeah. luckily oh, I never, <laughs> luckily I never originally watched Digimon, so I actually I had really no clue what I was expecting, and then I was like, damn, this is actually an isekai. This is legit so, considered an isekai, but like, and it's better you, than. 
Yeah, if you've seen the original, don't watch this. You're just going to ruin your childhood. I think Dude, I'm, well, liking, I, I'm I, the only one liking this show. I think it's like the first three episodes are just throwing, off, throwing us off because of the war game stuff. I think because at the end, we're at, well, at least I was feeling more excited when they're finally in the digital world. So I think it was a little too early to tell. I think like if this con- season actually continue, I think like it will actually we could actually compare it more to the original series. So I think it's yeah, just I, I think it's just the war game stuff that was just throwing us off. So yeah, I'm actually enjoying the. I mean, it's like I, I'm liking the show. Um, I have no clue what really what the original was about. Um, like I, I also was talking about like like last week that I was relating a lot of it to Pokemon. That this is this is way better than Pokemon. Um, <laughs> yeah. by, uh, by quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, we, you were saying how like Digimon World on PS One was better than the, no. Ku was saying Digimon World on PS One was better than Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Saran was on the the whole Pokemon the show. Train. The game is yeah. Eh. And then I was I'll saying yeah, Digimon show and the game was way better than the Pokemon show and game yeah. when they first came out. After season one, they kind of just went downhill. But then we all were agreeing that like Yu Gi Oh was probably the better of the three or whatever. Oh, I saw better. Then, yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, and the yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh became a thing, and that just took everything and just I forgot ran everything, with it, dude. Yep. I forgot everything. Pokemon didn't exist to me anymore. <laughs> um, I mean, Digimon was just. I mean, oh, it was, for me, it was like it was, never it was, like, it was, anyway, it was like the same time, so I was doing both basically. I was actually doing all three because I was watching Digimon after school, and I think it was like, yeah, I think they're all on like the. Toon- I don't I actually remember Yu-Gi-Oh was on Toonami, but like. They were in an after school block, whatever. So I was watching, I was watching Yu Gi Oh and Digimon. I didn't watch Pokemon really, actually, besides the first season. I just played the games, but they were all having the same time for me. So I wouldn't say Pokemon came out first on TV, and then Digimon came out, and then I gave up on Digimon, kept watching Pokemon, and then uh, Yu Gi Oh came out. Um, I watched it. Everything was forgotten. Well, I watched Digimon. it like yeah. through I think four seasons of Digimon. So. I oh, never mind. I was gonna say like I actually think with Yu-Gi-Oh, I ran into the card game before the show. I think I was at GameStop, and then I just saw like this random pack, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I had a, I'm into TCGs, and I just randomly picked up a few packs and then looked more into it, found out there was a show, and then became addicted. And it was still one of my favorite card games. Yeah, actually, my number one. Oh, I think it's my older cousins were into memories. Yu-Gi-Oh, so that's probably how I got into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like so the, the game, card, so the much card fun. game, and then then I, I found out about the show. Yeah, like I don't know. Early days was it was so good. It's ba- it's just like when nothing was banned, and then all you had to do was have the best cards, Monster and you just born. You, yeah, yeah. You just you basically have the best cards, and you had a very good chance of winning. It was good times. Uh, but uh, anyway, with the sh- with the show though, like I know um, with the, with the Digimon, like the Digital World, I was like excited when you actually see the sky, the water, and everything, yeah. just because of like I like Battle Network, but I do not like the, the look of the background. I mean, it's just what they consider like inside the network to look like. It's uh, yeah, bland. <laughs> it's not really uh, it's just, uh appealing it's just to look at. The war game just really threw us off. So I was hope I really this should have been the first episode. Honestly, like war, war games so. means nothing to me. I probably will never watch. I didn't it. know about it either until I saw Reddit. So like, no. oh, what I was gonna say is like, um, it sounded like for the next episode, whenever it does air, that it it uh, the title made it sound like they're only gonna introduce or focus on one of the new characters. Uh, the title was Bergamon. That's that's Sora's Digimon. So. Yeah. So yep. it, it, may, it might it makes me think that maybe each episode they're gonna just take their time to introduce each because character. In, I don't know. In the original strand, like they get into the digital world, they had all the digital ones were baby form. So the first episode mm-hmm. was all of them digivolving into their normal form, like all of them. Okay. So then they and they all combine attacks together to fight off this like huge bug Digimon. Then mm-hmm. the next episode of that it was Agumon digivolved to Greymon. The next episode of that it was. Um, Gabumon digivolving to Garurumon. So then it was like, so it was each individual Digimon digivolving to their champion forms. Whereas gotcha. here, we basically already saw Greymon and Garurumon in the war game stuff. So I think they use that. To, so then I guess they technically count that as like as their first time dig- digivolving. And then they just gotta move on. I think move on to Sora right away instead of focusing on like Ty and Matt because they already did that do for you, three episodes. Do you feel like the show is going slow? Or do, do you guys feel like this show's going slow at all? The or? first three episodes were just because, like, yeah. Just because, like, um, it, it didn't really... I don't know. I thought, I I thought like the it, first three definitely were slow. But the the fourth one was, like, I, I was better paced. 
Cool. Did you watch it? Yeah, no, I've seen it. I'm just, I'm oh, just watching. Okay, okay. But that's 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 why like I'm so conflicted, right? Like as a peers, I feel like as a peers, you would hate it just because of how they they kind of fucked up the pacing of the story. I, th- I think um, I think it's just the war games. I really want to like I was ho- I really just kind of want to like ignore that and like just focus on the actual like isekai like digital world part, not battle network. I know Taylor because... watched the original too, but I'm not sure if uh, I don't know if her headset died or anything. Yeah, because I still want to see how they, they, they flesh out the, the story, right? Because, uh, like I said, the very first season was basically them like traveling around the island and defeating Devilmon or whatever. And then that's when shit got a little bit more complicated. But with the first three episodes, they kind War of threw in for a loop by completely changing the like the startup of the story. War so, games. Right. So, like I said, as a peers, I'm a little conflicted. And that's kind why of mad I think, that they I think completely like, changed everything. For peers, I think it's better for us to just ignore the first three. Yeah, so I'm I'm interested to see how they're gonna play this out. Uh, but if do if they do keep like changing it up completely to the point where it's like you have no idea what's gonna happen, uh, I I might just give it up. But I want to see where it goes at least. I mean, I already don't know what's going on, so yeah, yeah, so you're good. I'm in a I think spot now. I think for new viewers, it's fine. Um, but yeah, if if you've if you're like if you're an OG and you watched the original and like say you're a Pierce, uh, I I wouldn't recommend it just because you might just get pissed off or whatever. I was just trying to skip the first three. Yeah. Taylor, what, uh, your thoughts? Uh, I have no thoughts on this show. <laughs> I, I agree with Pooh. I think it's terrible. Okay, I'm. I am. I'm the only one. No, I'm. I'm by well, I think it got better after the last one, but we'll have to see because it got delayed. So. Yeah. It will have somebody well, on my better, side. It was better, but it's like what I said last week. I was like, excited for like the camping episode, and this wasn't even an episode. No, it was like yeah. two Skip minutes it. of the entire episode. Yeah. Like, yeah. There, there's supposed to be a crazy tsunami, hurricane, tornado that comes through. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like maybe I'm just too nostalgic about it. It's, it's, it's basically I'm just regurgitating what Pooh said. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, after the last episode, I'm more excited than I was in the first episodes. Even though I thought the first one was really cool when they just kind of just threw Greymon at you right there. I thought, like, okay, this is cool. This is for the for the nostalgia, I just assumed. And apparently it was for uh, War Games. Um, because the biggest problem with that is how are you going to hype up the the audience later on? Like, in all honesty. If you really find just ways, throwing it all out there. Yeah, and then what? Just... Throw in warp digivolve, uh, digivolution. <laughs> that part was I dumb. mean, hey. go straight. That part was dumb. Animation, I mean, like animation's pretty good though. It's it's uh it's not but bad. They, just, they pretty much spoil the best part in the beginning. So yeah. Hey, there was no war Greymon yet. It was only Greymon. <sighs> again. <laughs> like I said, we'll we'll see how it goes, right? But I'm just saying, like. I was expecting, I was expecting so much for this because there was so much hype. They had all was these there? trailers set up to. Okay. I was... Well, they had like, uh, like they had these like, uh, like the 20th anniversary trailers, or whatever. Like they showed the adult forms of all the original DJ Dustin, <clears throat> and then uh, I'm assuming they was trying to like just get there was a movie that was supposed to remake. come out, like or at least I think it came out in Japan already, right? but there was a movie coming out in North America like called Drag uh, Digimon like Kizuna, I think. So yeah, yeah, but basically they were highlighting like the original Digi Dustin, right? Well, like so I, I, was I didn't hear anything about them. this new reboot, so I don't know. Maybe that's just me just being ignorant. But, I had no oh. idea. I think I just randomly saw it on Crunchyroll, and I was just like, I'll give it a shot. Like, I, yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know about any of this until Stren told me, so I didn't know there was that much hype for the reboot. Oh, yeah, I guess it's like, I, I lurk YouTube a lot, so maybe oh, if man. you lurk. All, section, all, I all I have to say is, like, I mean, I was a huge DBZ fan, and then when Dragon Ball Super was announced, I thought it was, you know, like, really hype. I mean, it's just, you haven't had any kind of new DBZ stuff for, what, maybe 10 years plus? Right. And then all yep. of a sudden, they just throw Super at you. So I just I just assumed it was maybe this, you know, similar for Digimon fans, where, I mean, if I was, like, a huge Digimon fan and I saw, like, a reboot, I would be very excited. Yeah. Yeah, like you were, you were hype, right? Like, damn, I wonder yeah. what they're going to do, what they're going to change, yeah. like, what, how they're going to do, like, a fresh spin on it, like... And then they did this. It, yeah. It's, it, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was know. hyped. I was hyped for those diehard fans, and then apparently everybody hates it besides the guy that's clueless. Yeah. So, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like I said, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm still gonna watch it just because I want to see how they play it out. But I'm I'm very disappointed in how they they started out the season. 
Okay. I think I'm I'm good for a delayed period of time whenever this decides to yeah. come back. Yeah. So that's that's it for Digimon Adventures. Yeah. So hopefully that's like all the loose ends we got from last week's episode. Hopefully I didn't fuck up this week's yeah. episode. Hopefully like we can actually no. release this. Yeah. yeah hopefully sweet. there's some more technical difficulties because yeah. if I have to do a recap again. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I hear you on Twitch. You're fine. <sighs> so... <laughs> This is why. This is why. Like, or I don't know. This is why. Whatever. We'll okay. We now know the. It, we will not make the mistake again. It's. Uh, we got it cleared. It's good that it happened this season when the season is. Was well, gonna mean, be so good. For, and we just... were complaining like last when, last season too about how slow that was, and then. But get, the season was supposed to be the season. And then get hit with this season, so it's like it's not the season. So yeah. whatever, like. Um, but the the question I had is uh, I don't know if uh, I will, well two questions I had but then I ended up answering my own because like uh, was a Crunchyroll released the God of High School oh that uh, trailer and this this latest trailer looks so good I didn't watch it so. and I, yeah okay and I was just like oh damn I was like I, I, and then I was just gonna see you know people's thoughts on it but then um and then I then I was also gonna ask like when do people think this is gonna come out but then they Crunchyroll they, says they, the release is for July they say summer but yeah, we'll see so we'll see. We will see, but it looks, if, it's early on, it looks pretty hype. Yeah, I think it's based off of Webtoon, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it like, is. What, it's another Korean, Korean thing. Yeah. Know, another Korean manhwa I just found out, and I, did, yeah. I completely forgot got, about that it's part. God got out of high school, and there's one more um, Webtoon that they announced that I forgot. So, oh, Nose Bless, yeah. So, yeah, so those three are the, oh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah those yeah. three are the, the I didn't, I, I didn't hear, I didn't know anything about um, God of High School, but I definitely heard of Tower of God and Nose Bless. So those are like the three, I appreciate, I guess the top three like popular Korean webtoons. So, and they're making those three into animes. If yeah, but they're pretty old. So I wonder yeah. if the hype is still high for them. Like I think, I'm pretty sure they're it, ongoing. It's Crunchyroll. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Also. I know Noseless is ongoing. So like, and if any, and if anything too, like because, like. The Korean web too. I'm pretty sure the licensing costs cost less, so they probably don't need that much of a success. If anything, it's just because you know you're a streaming service, you need exclusives. So, like as long as like it's moderately successful and it doesn't cost too much, it's it's, it's whatever. Like, yeah, Crunchyroll will do just fine. I mean, they, I think they they do really well in advertising. Yeah, I mean, in and, marketing uh, is like I, why me and Stratton watch like half the shows now. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll do just fine, I think. I'm surprised, I, I, I'm surprised it, that, like, I get more, like, my underrated shows from Country World than I do from Reddit now, just because, like... The, the the only thing I would think that might hold it back is, like, if all these shows, if all these shows were supposed to air this season and they get pushed back to the summer, like, summer is going to be just loaded. That's there's fine. Gonna I mean, be... That's fine. Like, yeah, it's, that's but, if they come out this summer. But it's... um, there's rumors, too, that, like, saying that even summer shows might be delayed. So, Fantastic. Because I mean, we had to announce it that like, um, Promise Neverland was del- that was originally like expected for fall, and they're already delaying it to oh, to right, yeah. winter. So like, I guess like so I guess for something like um, Promise Neverland, like I guess they're a type of they're the type that like that what you want to get done before the season starts. So they might be doing other works though. Too. Where, whereas like uh, for stuff like other other sh- a lot of other shows, like they're the ones that were like they they work on to the last minute. So. We'll see. Um, yeah. If if Tower of God airs fully this season, maybe we'll see God of High School like actually air on time. But that'd be nice. We'll see. The show looks more hype to me than Tower of God. Yeah, I just hope if they do were to continue it without delays, I just hope the the quality of the art won't drop. Cause yeah, I, I, I really know hope. A few, yeah. a few shows that are continuing their the quality has dropped quite a bit so yeah it's it's like if if, if the quality has to drop i would just i, I would rather them wait i, I don't want yeah. a half-assed I, like i don't want a half-assed nafu i might kill somebody <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah. and also i think um, i think like like some of the delayed shows soon like they might they're not it might not even be like production thing it might just be because the, the marketing they don't want to like have like the show they don't want to market the show during corona so like they'd rather wait till it's old wait till like you know Say emergency but, over in Japan, and then like, and then go out with the marketing afterwards. I would say, but everybody's in quarantine. Everybody would be. This is when everybody sees it's just, ads. It's just like a bad. I don't know. Maybe it's like it's maybe on the. Maybe it's like the, the executives are thinking like it's just a bad image, just like to 
deaths or yeah. deaths during a state of emergency slash pandemic. So that's the only thing I can think yeah. of. Like, otherwise, yeah, this would be the, like, like they, they should they should be like 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 Netflix and like game companies like actually making use of it. But yeah. I don't. Know. Otherwise, I think like maybe or maybe like um the anime companies are doing like like real life events like cafes and other collaborations and maybe like they want to do it all at the same time. Maybe that's why they pushed it to when people can actually go out. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather have them do the best as they can. Like I said, you know, I don't want half ass stuff. It's I, just like I know, think, that, I the think top, the top of that building looks you know, like a swan dive. I think like spot. I think like a good amount of anime delays is the marketing. I think like it's nothing to do with production. So okay. but that's just my guess, I guess. I don't really know. Okay. But Well I'm good. But yeah, basically like any and anything for twenty twenty is game for a delay, so we shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's, I'm just going to expect it at this point. So, yeah. So, we need to wrap it up here because this is a long episode. It's long. We had to this cover last week's episode. Last week's episode was, like, like what, two hours? So, like... Yeah, yeah that one was long, too. Well, yeah, it was long, too. So, it was like, really long. This is long. So, hopefully, future episodes... It, it shouldn't be that long. Future, future episodes should be, like, an hour and a half at most. Probably close to, like, hour 15, so... Yeah, next week, we I mean, should... we lose Shopeki, we lose... Um... Digimon. Uh, One Piece. We lose Digimon. Yeah. So there's a bunch of shows that we talked that we just referenced this week. We will not be talking about so, next week. And there's you know a bunch of t- bunch of time doing recaps too. So, so yeah, I, th- I think it should be like yeah, hour and a half at most, hour fifteen. So finally mm-hmm. having ha- finally having a reasonable podcast length compared to the two it hours. It hasn't happened usually, yet. Okay? It hasn't happened. Not yet. happened yet, but just compared to the usual two hours we do, hopefully like we get more reasonable. But yeah, we're in it there. Yeah, we're in it there. Wanna thank the listeners for making this far. Anyone want the listeners, the watchers, everything. Who's ever on, like uh, listening this whole Twitch. two and a half hour episode? If they made it, yeah. yeah. If you got, if you if you, you got, if you left and got bored, we don't blame you. Yeah. Wanna <laughs> wanna thank the panel for being with me this week. Thanks you guys. Shout we out, had a giant shout group, out, yeah. yeah. Shout out to um Peter and also Shosh who were here earlier who had to leave. So shout out to them. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 I don't know which movie said it, but it's like, let's get ready to suck today's dick. And that's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's I like that saying, dude. I'm going to use it from now on. I want to say it's a Seth Rogen movie. I, I just have no idea which watch, one. But... Hey, David, I, man. You that actually you does... don't know what? No. <laughs> that actually does talk to <laughs> I'm telling you, I think it's like they're out of school and either Seth Rogen or one of his buddies says it. And then. No, I think it's the one where. Uh, Pineapple Express. Oh, Pineapple Express. Yeah. Oh, uh, probably. Right? Yeah, just looked that it does up. Actually, done right. It was. Yeah. What'd you search up? What? Why would I Google that? Holy shit! I'll be ready for those those yeah, recommendations. Right. <laughs>